I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. I am here. I'm here. Thank y'all so much. It is um, time for me to uh, give my official, my official uh, reply. You know what I'm saying? What, what you want to call it? My official uh, response uh, to the latest round of information um, from the... Um, Manessa Jordan, Potter's House, T.D. Jakes, Larry Reed, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it, um, situation, everybody. Uh, I want you to do me a big favor, and I need you to share this video with three people or three sources. You know what I'm saying? Instagram, Facebook, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot to cover. We're only here for one hour, so I'm going to try to knock it out in less than an hour. Is that fair? Because we want to go to Patreon. And, and and still try to make it to Patreon, okay? Mm hmm So I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. Um, yes, yes. Uh huh. Mm hmm Thank y'all for tuning in. Now we're not gonna labor long. That is my goal. It is my task to uh, uh, uh come in and, and and knock it out the park and uh, uh talk about this and and all of that. And then we're gonna be on down the road. Um, there are rules tonight. There are rules. And the rules are, I am giving my mods a limited deputization power tonight. You are to, at your discretion, you can either block or delete tonight. Only for tonight, though. This does not cover any of the lives. You can block and, 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 and um, time out based on your discretion. The rules are, if you see anybody coming in doing secondary reporting, uh, uh, giving testimonials in the chat, uh, well, when I was at the Potter's house, this is what happened. Uh, let me tell you about what I think. And, and then pontificating, the, yeah, we're not doing that tonight, okay? We're not doing that tonight. So y'all only have it one night only. 
You can delete or block based on your modification uh, uh, discretion, okay? So, you know, people, they like to come in and give, you know, testimonies. And, uh, uh, well, when I was in Dallas, this is what happened. And when I was over here, this is what happened. Okay. Uh, we got two $50 pledges from Patreon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. Um, a lot of people have been asking about, you know, the origins. We are very clear tonight on the origins of this, right? Uh-huh. We're very clear on the origins of how all of this started. It began, you know, we, we first heard about the T.D. Jakes, the T.D. Jakes um, Pub Daddy debacle. T.D. Jakes Pub Daddy debacle, right? And then uh, from there, uh, it got a, it got a few legs, right? And we're also we're also not calling anybody any names. Moz, block and delete if anybody gives uh, you know any of these people any names. If you don't like these people, I can't make you like them. But we're gonna be respectful. We're gonna be respectful. If you don't like them, I, that's not my. I, I don't work for none of these people, you know. But if you don't like them, that's your personal, you know. I'm just saying, they they coming in here heavy tonight, y'all. Mm hmm I, I I knew they was gonna I knew they was gonna, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's it started with Pub Daddy. And now Pub Daddy is on the back burner. And now this particular this particular story has superseded Pub Daddy. And, you know, now it's a, a firestorm. And there was a blogger, you know, a YouTuber that really kicked this off. And then there was a TikToker who maybe just set the whole thing on fire. So we have a YouTuber and we have a TikToker, right? And that is where we, that's where we get these origins from. Puff Daddy, Cassie, and then we go to, then we go to, uh, um, the TikToker and the YouTuber. So we want to be clear, y'all. Um, just to be fair, Manessa Jordan nor Larry Reed started this. Okay, just to be fair. Okay, is that fair enough? Uh, we got the origins together. We got the origins together. Mm-hmm. So last night, uh, a lot of y'all were there last night. Um, Larry Reed from Larry Reed Live um, showed the, you know. The receipts, you know, his first set of receipts. People have been asking for receipts. People have been asking for, you know, can you give us something tangible? However, I don't think these people in this time frame of America, in the black community at this particular time, at this particular time, they're not really satisfactory no matter what you do. I'm just learning that, right? They're not satisfactory no matter what you do. But today, but today, Taswa, Manessa Jordan put a name on it. Idiot. And we're going to start with that right now. We're going to start with that. It is about four minutes, five minutes. And I don't know if this will be satisfactory to Dorothy Holmes and 60% uh, of the black community, but we're going to take a look at it right now. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And see what we can come up with. Uh huh. I don't know if this is going to be satisfactory to Ms. Holmes or uh, uh, the 60 percent of African-Americans that just don't want to believe nothing or talk about nothing outside. OK, let's go. Hey, fam. Happy New Year. You know, I've been getting a lot of messages from people saying, why are you exposing this or why are you putting this out? You're hurting the body of Christ. And people fail to realize that when God is ready to bring cleansing and healing to his body or the body of Christ, it starts with exposure. I'm reminded in the scripture where the prophet sees David and David has been doing some things that has not been right. And the prophet comes to expose it. And David has such a spirit of pride on him. And we're seeing this with bishops and leadership that become so prideful. And one of the signs of pride is that it is a it is something that when it begins to start having that God says, I can forgive everything else. I can forgive you for this. I can forgive that. But one thing that cannot stand in the presence of the Lord is that spirit of pride. And people that have been around leadership 
bishops, pastors that have had that spirit of arrogance and pride where they think that they're above the law or above the word, God is going to bring them down. When the prophet comes and tells David what he's what he's done, David, narcissistic behavior is not able to see himself. And one of the key things with predators are that they're narcissists. They always make everything about themselves. They will make a performance. They'll make it seem like it's always about them. They'll make it seem everything will always come and be about them. <sighs> it's very difficult to talk about because especially around the holiday season, narcissists hate that because it's a time that the spotlight's not on them. And so they want everything to be around, be about them. And so when I see the response of certain people or the response that people are making, or even the response of TD, you see the narcissistic behavior and people who do not know him, they'll go over their head, but people who are sensitive to the spirit or people that have studied psychology, uh, psychology or psychotherapy, you see it right away. I believe that God is exposing because it is not about bringing any person down. It is about bringing repentance. If David never got exposed, we would not have Psalms 51. And that's the beauty of Psalms 51. It comes out of David's pain and out of his repentance. And you cannot have repentance until you have confession. So it's not just, if I did this, I can just repent and God will forgive me. No, we have to confess and then we repent. And repentance is not just all I have to do is say or just repent. Repentance means changing of your ways. I'm about to go see my um, psychotherapist and I'm gonna be interviewing a psychiatrist. And I've been going through some of my messages. It's been very difficult and very emotionally draining for me. I didn't even know that I realized that I had some of these latent emotions, you know, and people who have experienced abuse or predatory behavior or any types of violation or inappropriate or harassment, you don't realize it until you take a step back, you know. I'm going to be going through some of the messages that um, TD sent to me, and um, this has been a very hard emotional journey for me, but I feel like it's liberating other people, and that's what ministry is about. I'm going to take you to be a part of the journey. I'm going to take you to some of my sessions. And I believe that this will help to bring healing to other people that have been affected by people in positions of power. This is not about exposing a person or bringing someone down. But this is about bringing healing to the body of Christ. All right. Okay. So you, you see, you know, the comments. What people are saying in the comments, um, like I said, it's it's not gonna be, it's never gonna be enough. It's never gonna be enough. They're asking me questions. I don't. I, I, I'm not an attorney. You know, I'm not litigating this case. I'm just here to present what's going on and what happened. I'm not an attorney. I'm not involved. Okay, I'm not an attorney. I don't answer questions. You know, so I figure like the TD thing was not gonna be enough. And when I heard it, I said, it's not going to be TD. They're going to say you're supposed to put Jake's on it. You know what I'm saying? I already knew when I saw the TD, I was like, okay, that's going to be the sticking point. He didn't say TD Jake's. Okay. Let the people, let them, let them say what they need to say as long as it's respectful. But I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. This is not my case. You need to talk to the um, media department and the attorneys when they get involved. I don't answer questions uh, concerning this. So the receipt, the receipt, uh, the major receipt was um, this picture and the official Thais report, Thais Jackson and uh, 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 everything associated with my brand. We are not saying this picture is in any way indicative of criminal liability or criminal content of Bishop T.D. Jakes of the Potter's House of Dallas, Texas. We are saying that this picture was featured on a platform last night, and we are now discussing it per our First Amendment rights, right? Per our First Amendment rights. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so he said that he's going to be interviewing a psychologist or, you know, someone, and he's going to be dropping more receipts and, and whatnot. Uh, this picture, and I will not be sharing, I will not be sharing the picture of Eddie Long side by side out of respect for Eddie Long's family. Um, listen, Eddie Long don't necessarily have anything to do with this time squad, in my opinion. So I'm just thinking, like, I ain't going to do that to the family, right? He ain't got nothing. You can discuss him in context, but I ain't going to put his picture side by side because I wouldn't want nobody to do that to my family. I'm not, I'm not going to do that, okay? That's just my personal thing I'm doing. Um, so here is the situation. This picture was said by the platform. Larry Reed Live, uh, uh, um, to be a pitcher um, that was a part of the grooming process, okay, for the, groom the grooming process. And they say Bishop Jakes here uh, appears to be uh, flexing and clenching his fist in order to make his muscles, you know, stiffen up a little bit, you know. And that's what that's what was alleged last night. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, everybody is, uh, y'all are confused. Okay, okay, you confused? Okay, we, we with you, we with you. Okay, <laughs> we, we try to work with you. So this is the first receipt of, of, of others, of others that are um, to come, unless there's some type of squashing and envelope passing outage. Um, this is the first receipt of some more to come. Uh, perhaps it's just good posture, mother. I'm going to get to all of that in just a minute, okay? So there were text messages, which I will not be showing um, based on my legal counsel. Uh, I will not be showing the text messages um, uh, uh, either, okay? So this is what we have. We have a picture, and there's an inference, and, and there's an implication of um, I was thinking about you. I was thinking about you. And a lot of people said, well, listen, uh, it, it's a little, you know, you know, I, I was thinking about you. It's not really rare. It, it's not really, what's the word I'm looking for? A red herring, right? Um, to some people. Um, what the situation is, is that some people may feel that it's inappropriate, inappropriate, but is it criminal? You know, we know that grooming per se is not criminal, but is it inappropriate for a man of his stature to be reaching out to a younger man and saying, I'm thinking about you at two o'clock in the morning? It's inappropriate. Yeah. Um, would a prosecutor bring this up? You know, you know, no, I don't think so. You know, maybe you may be brought before the church, but not before um, a criminal court. But listen, uh, they say there's more out there. There's more to come. But we have to get to what the people are saying, what folks are saying. And y'all are saying a lot. I've already been through all of the all of the chats, all the major content creators, and I'm here, I'm hearing what you're saying. And I'm just want to let you know I am here as a person that's trying to get a understanding of how the folks feel. I'm here. I hear you, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why did he I'll have to send a picture uh, with the text. He could have just sent the text. Okay, I'm letting y'all know that me, myself, I'm not answering questions for nobody. I'm here just to let this all, you know, marinate, marinate, okay? What folks are saying. Folks are saying quite a few things. Folks are saying that, you know, uh, why now? And, uh, you know, let sleeping dogs lie and, you uh, I need a little more before I make my formal decision. And you know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, y'all know, people are saying quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And maybe we can uh, 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 get some more receipts and then we can go from there. And uh, what's wrong with you now? It's it's a lot of, I'm going a, I'm to a be honest with y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. The black community is just really piss poor at advocacy for sexual crime. We, it's just, we are horrible at it. Horrible. When it comes to advocacy and, and, and standing with victims in our own community, we get a zero. When I say zero, zero. Folks are saying 
uh, uh, um, now I, I, I've heard through my back channels that none of this is new to Dallas and the circles in Dallas, you know, allegedly. That's what I'm being, that's what I'm hearing and back channels. Dallas already have heard about this stuff. And, and some of y'all outside of Dallas, right? Uh, we're just catching up. Um, folks are saying, like, you know, if there if there is some there there, we need to see what the next steps are. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the big takeaways from last night, y'all, was these two victims, alleged victims. We don't know who they are. One is on track to file. One is on track to file. We don't know about the other one, right? Uh-huh. And we're just trying to figure out what the hell is going on with the victim, victim number one or John Doe number one. Uh, he said he's ready to file. Now, one of the things that stood out to me, y'all, was it was said that he was 10 to 12 years younger than Bishop T.D. Jakes. Now, I know people are looking at it like right now. Yeah, he's 66. That would make a person, mm, that would make a person like, what, 56, you know, 54, if it was right now. But if this was eight years ago, you know, um, Bishop allegedly would have been in his, you know, mid-50s, and that person would have been in their uh, early 40s. You know what I'm saying? If it was, we don't know what time period this young man, this victim is from, okay? But what a lot of people are saying is that it just seems like, it seems like this is not moving toward justice. This is not moving toward uh, getting justice. This, it looks like it's moving toward, you know, a Cassie situation, like envelopes. And, you know, I, I want to get in a little envelope or something. So a lot of people are saying, this don't seem like this is moving toward, I don't know if y'all agree or disagree with that, uh, criminality or a criminal case, this looked like this is, uh, uh, and, and really based on what I saw, based on what I saw, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we've told these people several times, you know, you know, several times, just be mindful in the chat. We're not trying to stifle your conversation. You know what I'm saying? When we drop this link, hold on one second. When we drop this link for y'all, nobody comes up. But you want a windmill in my chat like that. Just, you know, save that for when we drop the link and stuff. Nobody wants to come up, but they want to just give a whole dissertation in the chat. But a lot of people feel, Ty Squad, you know what I'm saying, um, this may be going towards a, a settlement or some type of a, 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 a envelope or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. Um, somebody said, yeah, you know, well, listen. People are alluding to are, are, are the things that are coming out to, to move or push Bishop's hand into a settlement, letting you know these are your introductory appetizer receipts, right? These are your appetizer receipts and, you know what I'm saying? Hold on one second, Ty Squad. I got an inbox coming in. I got to take care of this. These are your introductory receipts. And we would like to give you an opportunity to get ahead of this. Because if you don't get ahead of this, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be on you. It's going to be on you. Okay? I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, my God, y'all. Nobody wants to talk to me until I go live. Hold on. And then this didn't upload. Okay. Thank you, uh, uh, baby, for your cash app. I appreciate it. Let me get this situated. I would like to ask y'all, do you think this is moving toward, do you think this is moving toward a criminal case? Uh, uh, or do you think this is moving toward seeking we settle this and squash this um, before this goes to the next level? Uh -huh. Does the money come out of the tide money? Y'all, you keep asking me questions like I work for these people. I don't, I don't know these people. I don't work. I've never been to the potter's house. Okay? Uh-huh. It's not an excuse to say anything about anything if you're willing to take half a million to not talk. Uh-huh. Does the settlement? Okay. Might if claim, uh-huh, is brought against the church. Okay. So do y'all think 
we're moving towards a criminal situation or are we showing our initial hand to let you know it's two boys or two men and they are ready, you know, well, at least one of them is ready uh, 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 <clears throat> to go to bat. What do y'all think? Money, but not, but I'm not mad about it. I mean, because Cassie got a settlement in 26 hours. Our sister Cassie got a settlement in 26 hours. So now there's president sent, um, you guys, on fast settlements. When you show them, baby, listen, we're not playing. Continue to share this video, Ty Squad. Please continue to share this video. I appreciate you. Tell your friends. Tell a coworker. Tell your church members that, you know, Thais is live on the air. And we are having a really hearty conversation about these receipts. Uh, all you got to do is hit that share button two or three times for me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm trying to upload something. Hold on, Tasqua. One second. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Tasqua, what's criminal about it? Well, one of these, uh, I believe they said that one, the young man that's getting ready to file, I believe he, they, they were alluding to that it was S.A., um, not concerning not concerning Manessa, but the young man, um, the one of the other victims, I think they're alluding to S.A., and if that's the case, you need to file a police report, right? S.A., you know, S.B., or whatever. Um, I believe more things are... Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, that's one of the things, that's one of the, the, the things that'll get people to go somewhere and move quickly with a settlement because once you start opening up these doors and you got two people are already waiting allegedly then then you know people may start investigating other things and looking into other stuff so a lot of times that gets people to move uh, quicker towards a settlement mm -hmm. yeah oh is that is that so uh, dorothy Oh, that's very optimistic of you. Mm. Is that optimistic of Dorothy? She said, okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we have another video. Okay, let's look at this video, Taswa. Give me one second. Let's look at this video. And uh, it's, just, it's just a lot. I, I may drop this link. I may drop this link. I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to see. I may drop the link. Um. Uh, but, you know, these people don't like to share their voice. They like to share their text. Okay, we got one more video from Larry Reed Live. Miraculous things will take place in West Virginia. I will raise up men who will articulate my purpose for the hour, said the Lord. Out of the state, I will bring forth a prophetic voice, which will sound throughout all of North America. Many will come from around the country and from around the world to hear this voice. The voice has not yet been heard, nor can it articulate in this hour. Neither is this voice recognizable, nor has it been seen. But out of the womb will I bring it. I will vocalize my purpose in its generation. My father went to West Virginia on a job. We didn't live in West Virginia. We lived in Mississippi. My family was in Mississippi. I wasn't even born yet. I, I, I don't want to share any, uh, we'll make sure to clip that out later, honey. I don't want to share any, I don't want to share anything of his uh, bishop, you know. We'll make sure, production, make sure to clip that out later, honey. That last little piece, clip that right on out. We don't need no problems with this man, honey. Uh, Cause you know how they cutting up over here. You know what I'm saying. Make sure we clip that out production. We don't want his voice or likeness. Make sure that's done tonight. Now, so many people are wondering. You know, why now? That's a lot of you know people are saying why now. I will say this about Vanessa Jordan. Vanessa Jordan has money and comes from money. I don't personally think this is a why now or a money grab situation. I don't. I really don't. He comes from money. His father is very, very wealthy. His father is very, very wealthy. Uh, of course, his father's money is not his money, but I'm just saying 
The family is wealthy. Uh, um, this is not a situation where somebody is looking for a payday because they working at McDonald's. Okay, this looks like a case where somebody just wants some, you know, some, you know, some restorative justice. You know what I'm saying? Based on what they went through, but there are so many things that people in these YouTube streets are bringing up and flagging and and, and, and whatnot and um. You know, one of them is um, the car, the Bentley um, that he bought for T.D. Jakes, um, Vanessa Jordan. It is not unusual for someone to buy a car for their, you know, if you got money. I've seen people buy cars for pastors. I have. So it's not unusual, y'all. Um, this car is on the pricey end, according to... Uh, uh, um, what I found, this car runs about $190,000, okay? But a lot of people feel that's a sticking point. Um, why are you buying cars and, and, and why are you buying all of this for this man and all of this? Okay, listen, um, that's a nice car. And he has the right, if he felt at that time that he wanted to buy a car for his mentor, you know what I'm saying? And that's what he wanted to do, you know? Um, does him buying a car obfuscate anything that may have happened later or before? You know? Mm-hmm. That is such a foreign uh, world to me. Pricey Starbucks. I mean, this is a this is a really pricey car. Um, that don't necessarily mean anything, e you know, either way to me. It just seems like, you know, at that time, he wanted to show his love and appreciation for uh, 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 Bishop Jakes, you know, it's more to this story. I don't care what nobody says. Okay, well, we can get there in just a minute. Did he write off on his taxes? Where's the tithe? title? <laughs> so at the end of the day, he felt like buying a car for his pastor, for his mentor, for his spiritual dad, for his spiritual, you know, it is what it is, y'all. Uh, uh, um, you can't read too much into it, and you can't uh, not read too much into it. It's one of those situations, everybody going to see what they see. You got to understand that there are spiritual sons and armor bearers and, and young men that are up under leadership that are attractive, that are good looking, that have nice bodies. Uh-huh. It's just, it's a given. You rarely see an ugly armor bearer or spiritual son. You know, it's just, I'm just keeping it a buck. I'm keeping it a bean with y'all. You don't really, you know, these men want to have other good looking men around them. Nice bodies, big booties, big chest, you know. And we're talking about eight years, so we take eight, ten years, take some change off of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe even 12 years. So, you know, I, I'm not, I don't know what <laughs> Bishop Jake's pedigree or taste is. I'm speaking generally, y'all. I'm speaking um, very generally. A lot of men like to be in the company of very good looking young men. They do. You know, if, if that's your thing. You know, hold on one second. Uh, you know, these people, what they want to do is, uh, what they want to do is, mm hmm. They want to, they want to, they want me to come on here and just, you know what I'm saying, just uh, bash Vanessa and bash the Jordan family and bash, you know, and I, you know, I, I can't do that. I know that's what they want. I know that's what they want, but I can't, I can't come on here like that, baby, because what people are saying is also is that, uh-huh, there is some, uh, there's some fire. They believe it's some fire. And a lot of y'all are saying something in the milk ain't damn clean. Something in the milk is not clean. And y'all are saying, I can't put my finger on it, mother, just yet. I'm waiting on a few more uh, receipts to drop. But a lot of y'all know in your gut, something don't feel damn right. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all know that there's something that's just a little bit off with some of this stuff. And, 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 and you know, 
You can be mad because that receipt ain't up to your standards. But when you look at it, honey, when you look at it, yeah, it don't look proper for somebody to be hitting somebody up at 2 o'clock in the damn morning talking about I'm thinking about you. I don't give a damn if your spiritual son, your spiritual nephew. Honey, email me or talk to me in the morning when the sun come up. Something in the water just ain't clean and people are feeling it. And a lot of people have not been given license until they see some damn good receipts. And this is our appetizer or introductory receipt. Now, on the flip side of that, folks are saying, y'all, we need to see what was said before and after. Like what was said, you know, before the text and what was said. We only see, you know, what's being said in the uh, in the middle, you know. But I need to see the rest of the text thread. A lot of people want to see the rest of the text thread. They want to see sheets of conversations so they can put it in context. You know, I was just typing that. Uh, what was the whole conversation? That's what people want to know. What was the whole conversation? But, you know, are they at liberty? Larry Reed, are they at liberty to show all of that right now? You know? Look like they're in the early stages of, you know, trying to get a negotiation and, 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 and see what they can come up with. Now, a lot of y'all, you know, folks was also saying, you know, why did Larry take so many pictures and he was only supposed to take one picture? Half of y'all know that somebody has done something like that to y'all in y'all lifetime. And they give y'all some tea and they say, girl, just take one picture. And you know damn well you're going to take about 10, 15 pictures. They done told you just take one picture and you done sit your ass up there and took six or seven pictures. Mm-hmm. MJ looks more and more traumatized. This may be more ugly. Okay. Now, listen, y'all, if, if we're talking about Manessa Jordan, right? It's okay if somebody talks about Manessa Jordan. You don't have to do <laughs> deposit our plan. We're talking about Manessa. It's okay. You can, if they put MJ in the chat, y'all, okay. It's okay, Ty Squad. It's okay. Stand down. They can put MJ They can if they need to. I'm just saying when they be in the chat, throwing all these random people in the chat and random ministers and stuff, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Okay, stand down just a little bit, Ty Squad. Okay. And why would LR give TD a heads up? I'm done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, what, what's your... What's your question? Because that's just a statement. It's, it's, it's a statement in the form of a question. Um, the same people asking all these questions sound like, I think it's time for me to, um, I think it's time for me to drop this link because I want to share, uh, 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 and I'm going I'm to drop the link, but I want to share a, a, a part of my story and a part of my testimony. When I was 15, 16 years old and Pasadena, and I'm, I'm going to drop this link. When I was 15 to 16 years old, Ty Squad, you know, my mother wasn't a drug addict. My mother wasn't a bad mother. But I was I was young. I was LGBTQ. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was in a city that wasn't conducive with who I was and trying to figure out who I was. So I would hang out like a lot of gay boys, walk around. And there was a particular area near my house. And I would walk down there and, you know, sit on the brick wall over there and, and just hang out, you know. And this area, you know, was known for, and even as a young person, I wasn't really keen of that in my mind. I just knew, I just wanted to hang out over there, right? But this area was known for prostitution. And I was not going there, you know, for the purpose of prostitution. Let me be clear. I was 15, I was 16. What I was going for was trying to find somebody, something that looked like me. And see, the predator and all these people, they don't know that. All they looking for is fresh meat. They don't know what's going on inside of you internally, right? So as I go over there and then I hang out over there, Ty Squad, I start to meet a lot of older men. And I'm talking about men that are twice 
probably twice my age, right? And they should know. I'm, you can look at me and tell I'm not a grown man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young boy. And I would meet men and I would beat them and then I would go off with them, you know? The responsibility should never be on the child or the teenager. And I see somebody that's really, really going hard about grooming and grown men. And evidently, they don't know, really know about grooming. Mm -hmm. And so when people, when people talk about willingly and when people talk about you was grown and uh, didn't nobody put a gun to your head and when people say stuff like that, you can tell either they have not been uh, 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 in touch with that side of who they are or what they've been through or they're trying to obfuscate a point that they're trying to make. There are people out here, there are people out here that look for fresh prey. Uh-huh, and they will prey on you and gather you up, honey, and before you know it, you will be on your way to be devoured, however they want to devour you. And your intent may not be, you know, uh, 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 I want to be a victim. Sometimes if you don't know what you're looking for, where you're going, what you're doing, your mind isn't developed enough for all of that. Mm-hmm. I guess I just know too much about grooming for, uh, uh, from studying. Ruby, he was around 25 and 2016. So when people, when people ask about grown men, oh, he's grown, he's a grown man. Yeah, he's grown. He is grown. But let me, let me, let me, let me help you a little bit. Timbri, I feel a little of my help coming. Because sometimes these people really anger me, but certain comments can really trigger me. And I feel just a little bit of my help coming. What is uh, uh, what is grooming? You know, they never know nothing. What is a power bottom? You know, what is this? And I understand everybody ain't with the everybody ain't with the shit, right? Uh, uh, how can you groom a grown man? That's a whole ass grown ass man. When you have a man, and he may be straight, or he may be struggling or he may not even be aware of who he is yet. There are grown men. There are grown men who are in a position emotionally where they're fighting against their urges internally. They're fighting against whatever it is that they're going through inside. So they don't even know what the hell is going on. What they know is that there's something weird. <laughs> it feels weird. I know who I'm attracted to, and I know who I should be attracted to. And there are people that prey on that indecision. And they become father figures. And they become people who tell you, I know you. I know what's best for you. And I want to help you. And I want to bring you into the fold. I want you to be my adjudicate. I want you to be my armor bearer. I'm going to give you a position. And when we walk in these high places together, you're going to walk in on my arm. I'm giving you power. I am the most powerful man in the world. And you are standing on my side when we walk in these places. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, wow. And I'm going to also give you trinkets. I'm going to give you watches and chains. And we're going to be on trips. And we're going to go here. And we're going to go there. And people don't even see a lot of times people don't really see that they're being buttered up and lathered up for the, for the uh, I don't want to say the K word, because they're going to go in for the big kahuna soon. Mm-hmm. So then one night at the hotel, you know, at the Hyatt Regency, we're in Kansas City. I'm going in, or I'm not, no, I'm not going in. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go in and I, I, I'm going to get what I want now. I done buttered you up. I done gave you positions. I done gave you cars. I done gave you credit cards. Now I want what I want. Mm-hmm. And what do I want? I either want some booty or I want some dick. 
I want some booty or I want some dick. We're adults here. So uh, um, the bishop's assistant says, uh, uh, because they're in on it too. The bishop's assistant says um, they don't have a they don't have a double suite. Uh huh. They don't have a double suite. They only have a single bed suite, um, Bishop. Okay, because they ain't on it too. Okay, uh, 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 you don't mind you don't mind sharing a bed with Bishop, do you? No, no, no. I don't mind sharing a bed with you because they better go in. They better go in with it tonight. So once you get in that bed, and and, and, and just you're on your iPad and he's on his iPad and. Y'all are just in bed and, you know, getting ready for the big service tomorrow. Uh-huh. And then Bishop turns on some porn. Uh-huh. He turns on some porn. And then you hear the porn sound and you're shocked because why is Bishop listening to damn porn? And then he, you know, <laughs> he says, oh, you don't mind me watching this, do you? Oh, okay. Uh, no, go ahead, watch it. Well, well, what kind of porn you like to watch? <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what type of porn you like to watch? Well, I don't really watch porn. Because you really don't want to say it because you don't know where he's going with this. I don't really watch porn. Well, what you do, how you, how you, you know, how you get off? How you, how you, how you bust when you need to bust? Well, you know, I, I do jack off sometimes. I do masturbate, you know. Um, I do have this little girl that, you know, uh, you know, that we mess around with, you know, I mess around with and stuff, you know. Oh, well, let me tell you something. I'm just be honest with you. I've always, I've always had a, a special eye on you. I've always had a special thing for you. you. You know, you just, you do it for me. Who, me? Yeah. And I'm going to just be honest with this between me and you. If I did go that way, it would be with you. If I did go that way, it would be with you. I would, I would try something out with you. I'm just saying, I know you see me as the big holy bishop, but you know what I'm saying? If I if I did do something like that, it would be with you because it's something about you. You know, you just make me feel alive. You make me feel, you, you make me feel so good. Mm-hmm. And the next thing you know, he done pulled the sheet back and just commenced to sucking this boy up. And with all the years and years of grooming that has went on, all the years and years of grooming, you don't even know to push him off because your mind has been molded and you don't even know it. You don't know, should I push him off? This ain't what I like. This ain't what I do. And I, I, I want to be fair about this, y'all. I want to be fair about this. There are men, there are men who understand that they are fine, understand that they have bodies, understand that they got big booties and big chests, and will manipulate that and will go all the way. We've seen this on both sides, Tasqua. We've seen people that will finesse these people and go all the way and then file a whole case. I played with you for three, four years, and now I'm filing a suit. They don't know that you didn't let this man do all kinds of stuff, like eat your booty and everything. But they will then flip it on you and say, I didn't want to do that. You made me do that. So it's two sides to it, Ty Squad. There's two sides to it. I tell people, mothers, grandmothers, aunties, you know, watch your children. Watch your grown men, your grown adults. Let them know what time it is. But some of y'all are so heavenly bound and so out here bashing gay folks, you ain't even seeing what's going on with your damn son, the armor bearer. You out here windmilling for the color purple so bad that you ain't even had time to go and check on your damn son because his mood has changed in the last week. When I was younger, one guy in church told me I think I was a bag of chips and invited me to his house. I nearly broke a fight. Uh-huh. 
I nearly broke a fight in the house of the Lord. Mm. Mm -hmm. Watch your boy. Watch your boys. Because you know, sometimes girls kind of stay up, the girls kind of stay up under their mamas. You know, you stay up under your mama as the girls. But uh, uh, um, boys, y'all act like they can just fend for themselves. And, you know, sometimes you, they, they let these girls go, too. Just let these girls go off, too. Well, a lot of girls stay up under their mama real close to their mama. But these boys, you just feel like they just, that he's a boy. He's a let him go on out there. Let him go on with him. I'm just saying, Tasqua. A lot of people, I had somebody say about the Eddie Long situation that <laughs> they said that, you know, how were they victims? They was getting watches and chains and and, 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 and PlayStations and Gucci uh, outfits and stuff. How was they victims? That is the mindset of our people, Tasqua. That you can't be a victim if there was an exchange of anything. We have so many rules in the black church and in the black community to be a, a victim. I understand if, I understand, Ty Squad, if, you know, this is not enough for you yet. I, I'm not going to sit up here and say that's, okay. I understand if that's not enough for you yet. But what exactly is it going to take? When these two men, if they do come out, when they come out, will that be enough? Because you stuck on a damn Bentley that was bought. <laughs> Would that be enough when the two men come out? Uh, will you rake them over the coals? Why they wait so long? Mm, it could, this is number Eddie Long all over again. Maybe it's for an envelope. I'm just saying, Tasqua. What will you believe? When will you believe it? Because at the end of the day, y'all, Everybody ain't lying. My mama used to say that. I don't think Larry has a, a, a financial motive. And I don't think uh, 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 Manessa has a financial motive. Now, if they got a whole nother motive, I don't know. But I'm just saying, finance, I don't think, is at the root of this. Could there be another motive? I don't know. Uh, we just a couple of days really into all of this, Tasqua. Let's give us some more days to see how this pans out. Mm hmm I'm going to drop the link right now, Ty Squad. I'm going to drop the link and see if any of these people that are giving for Color Girl monologues in the chat are going to be coming up tonight. And we, we, we our hand is going to be on the mute button because some of y'all get carried a damn way. And I just ask everybody, if you can tonight, to turn off your cameras. Okay? I need you to turn off your camera. If you're going to come on, I need all cameras off. Okay? Okay. If you're coming on tonight, I need all cameras off. Mm-hmm. That should be right up some of y'all alley, right? Should that be right up your alley? You, you, your camera being off? There is the link. Take it from the chat. Take it from the chat to the, to the, to the uh, 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 screen yard. Thank y'all for hitting the like button. Mm -hmm. For all of y'all that's in here giving these women a Bruce to play some monologues, look like you would hit this damn link and come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Unfortunately, Shy, we can't bring you up tonight, sweetheart. We can't bring you up um, just for continuity issues. So I'm sorry, Shy, we can't bring you up, okay? Anybody else want to come up? Okay. Uh, there you go. Hey, YGA Annette Butler, how you doing? I'm doing good this evening. How you doing, Beck? All right. Now, I just want to say, if we would just all take a minute, mm -hmm. you read the top of that that email or whatever it was, right? Yes. Now, read the bottom of it. Now, if the bottom come bottom of that the email comes true. Then what we gonna say? Because the bottom of it says, if he continues, he's gonna be destroyed. I mean, I know you, I know the, the bottom of it is just a little bit of writing, but when you read the top about what Larry read, and then you read the bottom, 
that if he gets to be uh like I'm this and I'm that proud and 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 pride and everything. Mm-hmm. Re- read the rest of that. No, I saw oh. the I saw the prophecy. I saw the prophecy. There's a lot of people that have been um saying things concerning this ministry for many years, and a lot of people feel like it's coming to fruition now. You know, I'm just gonna sit back and and, and see does the bottom that bottom part of the prophecy come true. Okay. That, that he's going to be destroyed. He's going to lose everything. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, whoa, this was a real prophecy because it really did happen because he was so prideful. You know, I could just come in here and, and, and tell the Lord, I, I'm sorry, and everything's going to be okay. Like, prideful. But, you know, they say pride comes before the fall. That's what that's what um, Manessa was alluding to in his, in his um, video, you know. The narcissist so and the pride of it all. So that's all I want to say. And you all, all have right. a good evening and a happy new year. You too. Leticia Turner? Yes, I am here. Okay, how can I help you? Well, actually, I was just kind of listening in on the YouTube because I've been seeing all the allegations and stuff pop up on uh, T.D. Jakes and just trying to stay aware of what is going on. But I just find it is just, it's destroying all of this stuff that is going on from this pastor to it's another pastor that was having a whole party in his uh, church on New Year's. It's just so many people are destroying the name of Christianity and they just are able to get away with this and why? And um, other religions, they don't allow this buffoonery. It's just so sad to me. It is horrible. Well, you know, uh, one of my followers, Tim Bree, always talks about, you know, um, the people. You know, we don't, nobody ever talks about the church members at the Potter's house and people that have been there since they opened and how they feel and, you know, the body of Christ as a whole. We be so busy with these receipts and all this tea and shade. Nobody really, you know, because most people, a lot of people are just over church. Like a big majority of people from what we've seen and what we've been through in our personal lives, Letitia, they're just over church. And so they just prefer to hear the tea of it all. They don't really care about anybody, the fallout, you know? Mm-hmm. They over church. They over church. Why? A lot of people are over church because of church hurt, whether it be S A R A P E, you know, orientation, misogyny, misogynoir. You know what I'm saying? Religiosity. It's just a long list, you know, because everybody, everybody is not going to sit and just be abused and just go along with the program. Some mm-hmm. people seek their freedom. Some people find it. Right. Yeah. I just well, I, wish. Thank you for, I thank you for coming on. Yes. Uh thank you for having it. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Hello, how can I help you? Hello. This is my second time joining. Uh, I really appreciate your show. I want to say that because you opened up a lot of avenues. But I got something I want to say. I'm going to start off because it's something you said earlier that I want to touch on because I felt that too. Um, it was longer than six months ago. I noticed, I used to like to watch Jake's, but it's, mine's been longer than six months. I noticed my spirit of discernment was off. It, it, it wasn't lining up to something and I couldn't pinpoint. I said, something's not right. I'm not feeling this. Like when he's preaching, there was nothing behind it spiritually. Now, you can hear the church going, but it, it wasn't hitting the same like it used to. And I heard you mention that on your on uh, on the live. And I said, oh, my God. You know, you think you realize, oh, you're not the only one. Like yeah. something was going on. Like I was like, ah, oh, that's not lined up with the word of God or uh, something. He said, like, I'm not. It's something spiritually off with Jake. And I don't know if you remember this, but Larry brought this up some months back. Mm-hmm. It became controversial. He called for people to come down to pray. And it was a woman who came down and he was, he didn't even want to come up on it. He was casting out demons. It, she didn't even do nothing. 
And I thought, wow, he's really treating this woman harsh. But it was a young man that came down. And he perked up. And he said, get this man my personal number. I remember that. You remember? Get him my personal number. I I, I, I promise to God that did not sit right to me. Because I'm like, he wore this woman out. But I'm not feeling what he's feeling from her. You see what I'm saying? I'm not picking up a demonic spirit. But he was all bad. But this young guy, he perked up. And I'm like, this young guy didn't do nothing. He ain't about nothing. He just looked. He said, "You, I see some in you. You, you, you go over there. You give him my personal, and, and that that really bothered me. And I was like, why is he just so in tune with this guy? But everybody else cast aside. Why he get the? Why he get a personal meeting with you? Why he? How, how this guy you don't know? He's trying to find the Lord, and you automatically want to bring him in your inner circle because that's what he was doing. I don't know if you remember that. I remember." It, because both of those instances went viral. Hey, thank you. Both of them went viral. I and remember. That, never said, I, that didn't sit right with me. My spirit was pinging all over. My spirit of discernment was pinging all over the place off that one. I said, oh, now that all of this is coming out, I'm not saying it's true, but it's, it's making sense now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, he's probably, if he's not already in, you know, in a reprobate mind, for him to be doing that, I think he is. But I want to say this to people because sometimes we look at pastors and I, and I had to pray with God this morning. I need to work out my own salvation. I, I don't have a heaven or hell to put Jake's in, but he's going to have to work out his own salvation as well. He's going to have to confess his sins, repent and get right with the Lord, or he too will be just like his friend. But I want people of God, don't look at him and fall out. Work out your own salvation with God, with the Lord. And that's all I got to say. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, joining us and make sure you subscribe. Okay, thank you. All right. Robert, you're up next, Dan Paul. Hey, Robert. Hey, how you doing, Ty? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm yet holding on. I see here. I just got a couple of things that I just want to say, and I don't really know when I come on here what I say makes sense. But I do want to say that is I put in the chat that it was disgusting. It, it, I just don't understand how people want more information. If, if it was T. Jakes or if it was a pastor or if it was a regular person, let's take let's take the prophet. Let's take church out of everything. What in the world does a 50-year-old man have in common with somebody who is 20-something years old to the point where they feel comfortable with sending pictures in the middle of the night? It just don't make no, don't know grown man, and I'm from Mississippi, don't know, not grown man, don't know man send no other man no picture out the blue. I have friends who are dudes who say, Hey, when you when you speak, when you when you um, want to reach out to me or say, hey, don't be saying don't send a heart emoji or don't send don't because it, 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 it's a certain type of way. So I don't know what kind of man would send a dude a picture at two o'clock in the morning, but that's neither here or there. Another thing is that I think that this discussion is so big amongst everybody now is because, of course, COVID bought church full center online. But I think the biggest problem is, is that many people have not been in church and they don't understand that this is not something that happened just 10 years ago. It's not something that's just been happening 20 years ago or, or even 100 years ago. It goes back even further. So if you're in church or you grew up in church, you already know of these things and you just sit back and you watch people ask silly questions like, is this illegal? Does it matter if it's illegal or not? Why are you sending somebody a picture? Why why are you sending this dude's son your picture? Because at this point, that dude is the same age you is. Why are you sending this dude you know son a picture in the middle of the night? It, it just it just doesn't make any sense. So and, and the last point is that you have all these clues, but I personally know of so many of my musician friends that I play with or that I know of that have lost their jobs in a church because somebody said something and there was no proof at all. But because it was about a dude, that person lost their position and they told them up. It wasn't any proof, but just because it was in the air, 
they took that person and wore that person out and separated that person. I've seen it before. So I'm just not really understanding, not just TDJs, but when it's people in leadership, how it's so much support. It's so much, oh, we need this and, and uh, oh, but wait, we need, we, we, I don't understand. Maybe, well, maybe it wasn't there. Uh uh. What, what, who, where does that come from? So those were just the different things I wanted. To, uh, those is what I wanted to cover in this whole thing. I don't know what happened. We don't know if it's true or false. I just know that, you know, I ain't no dude sending no 20 year old. You no, know, I wouldn't even send a 20 year old or you no know, picture at two o'clock in the morning. And I'm not 60. So I just don't, I, I don't understand. But that's all. All right, Robert. Thank you. Appreciate right. you. Paul, you're up next, brother. Hey, mother. You, you spoke so much truth. Um, I was a young teenager when a well-known pastor that's still pastor in L.A. tried to get me. He invited me to his place of business to talk about playing for his church. And um, as we were talking, he was telling me, oh, my musician doesn't bring it, and I enjoy your playing. And I knew something was off because the amount of money he offered me, he offered me like five to $600. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. But then we were talking, he sent me a text message, and it was of his behind. And he said, do you think you can handle this? And I responded verbally. I said, what do you, what, who do you think I am? Like, um, so you want me to fuck you on Saturday and play with you and then play for your church on Sunday? But I'm so grateful to God that I had a lot of male figures in my life. So I didn't, you know, fall for this, not, not for all for this mess. But as I said that, he was like, please don't tell nobody. And he tried to offer money and stuff like that. And I just told him, dude, it's not that serious. Just leave me alone. And I walked off. And so my prayer is that a lot of these young men that are that have experiences, that they get their healing. And I'm out, mother. Thank you, Paul, for sharing that story. Thank you so much. Empress Lona, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to piggyback off of um, what the lady just was talking about, you know, as far as watching the sermons and something just didn't seem right. Um, you know, so I tune in every now and again to some of the sermons and um, it just didn't sit right with me. One of his guest speakers uh, was talking about how he had contacted him in, in any, what I thought was an inappropriate hour. And um he was saying they were just talking about the sermon and everything and preparing the sermon. But I'm just like, I don't care what it is, whatever project or whatever, contact me, regular business hours. And um, another thing that I didn't sit right with me was a male guest pastor came on and won a, a different sermon. And it seemed like the entire sermon was him professing his love for the, the bishop. And it just didn't sit right with me. It's just, you know, I know you as spiritual fathers and spiritual sons and all of that, but it just it it just didn't seem right. I, I think that there's a I think that there's an appropriate hour to reach out to people, and that is during daylight business hours, like exactly nine to five. You know, um, the only reason you should be hitting somebody up that time of night is there's an emergency, a death, somebody's in the hospital. It's understandable, but for just general conversation, it don't it don't look right. It just doesn't. It don't look right. And um, a cousin of mine, me and him were talking and I said, he said, well, if you established a relationship and y'all talk and it's OK for them to contact you at that hour, maybe that's what was going on. I said, or well, maybe it is the fact that you have to allow this person to contact you to be in the inner circle. You have to be available whenever they so choose to contact you. And that's inappropriate. Yeah, I agree, Empress Lona. Um, how long have you been watching? I've been watching TDJ since I was a little girl. I mean, me, how long you been with me? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I've been with you for a while, a couple months now. Okay, okay. Well, I thank you for tuning in and giving such great commentary. 
Thank you so much. All right. All right. I'm going to bring you back up really briefly. Okay. Uh, are you back? Hey. Hey, I forgot to say this, uh, but you mentioned, I totally forgot. People, start watching your kids. Yes. These predators are become younger and younger because they have been preyed on. Don't think a 10 or 12 year old won't prey on your four and five or three year old. That's true. And, and don't think your 10 year old, a, a 10 year old won't prey on another 10 year old, even a boy. Yep. So when you say, watch your behavior change. Watch the people that you your, you have your kids around. Stop dropping your kids off on, with everybody. Uh, I never forget when the pandemic happened. A little bitty girl in elementary school, they was online. Her dad was at work. She left her line up because the old oh, the ATL cousin was sexually abusing her. So she left the camera up and the students called her performer oral on him. He made her perform. When he realized the camera was still on. They went and got the, they, they, they called for the teacher slapped her and, and he had been doing this to this girl but because they was at home in the pandemic she left that live with somebody to help her grandma downstairs don't know what's going on wow so watch your kids that's all i have to say thank you so well, much thank you so much thank you all right hey uncle tim how you doing hey how you doing thais i'm fine i'm fine this is it's a story that just it will it keeps on giving uh-huh and, Look like we're gonna be on this for the uh, 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 the first quarter of. <laughs> now, uh, okay, so I, I I was trying, I was watching in my bedroom, and I wanted to get here before you took the link down, so that's why I didn't hear all of what was said here. Uh -huh. But I'm I'm just confused as to this this receipt of Larry Reed's, and I I have been a follower of Larry Reed. I mean, I liked him, but I'm really disturbed. I, I'm really disturbed. I feel like there's an attack against this man that is unfair i saw i saw some of your commentary earlier right um, and the thing about this conversation is everybody is not going it's a polarizing situation so i don't expect when it comes to the black church there to be ever to be consensus so you're entitled to feel how you feel and you can expound upon it take some time and expound upon how you feel about this uncle tim right well for one thing there are no children involved the children, these conversations always get cross, crossed up. Like every time you mention anything about a homosexual, you you end up in pedophilia. Mm -hmm. What he's been accused of even is a grown man making a pass at another grown man. Now, this guy, Manasseh, or whoever the hell he is, he seems gay to me. That's just my opinion, allegedly. He's got a bun on his head. He wears lipstick. He cut, arches his eyes and all this stuff. But yeah, he's a grown ass man. He's chosen to be the mentee of T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes uh, 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 emails him or what is it, message him and says, thinking of you. Listen, if I told you that my, my mama died last night, my mama died two days ago, I'm hurting. I'm going through something, right? My kids are on crack. I'm going through something. Is there anything wrong with a bishop saying, thinking of you? I mean, this is supposed to be your mentor. You're supposed to be in relationship with each other. Now, listen, I ain't got no no no, no love or or or, or uh, a thing about T.D. Jakes in particular. I don't like the hypocrisy, and I still and I have an uh, an opinion about the way gay men seem to join in with this crucifixion crucifixion of the of the homosexual experience. If they are two grown men, so what if he does make a pass at it? That seems to me to be a problem between T.D. Jakes and his wife. And his wife, because as far as we know, she could be cool with it. Now, that would be that would be true if this was if this was not a church um, or a ministry. Uh, if there's a ministry involved, then you should be integral and you shouldn't be flirting with nobody. And if you were grooming somebody under the guise of spiritual leadership, then that is morally, and in some cases, you know, some people can push it up to some type of legality. It may not be uh, a specific grooming, but there's some things you can you can maneuver with in the legal system if you find the right county or the right DA. You know, if you're grooming somebody for the purposes of anything sexual. I just don't see how this dude is being groomed. How? So I'm I'm grooming you, right? Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, in, in me, let, me, let, me just say, let me just say full throated, grooming is very, very real and it's happening right now as we speak. 
Yeah, with kids, with children. No, 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 no. With grooming. No, no, no. Grooming is with children. No, 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 no. Grooming is with whoever is in the position of power. Mm -hmm. And they want to exert that power over somebody. Right. And they're not able to do it in a normal fashion, right? Mm -hmm. So they have to slow roll it. So right, right. I think uh, people think grooming is children only. No. There are pimps listen. right now that are grooming young women to get out there on the track or to go right. and sell right. their bodies in a hotel. Right. So does yeah. Manessa... There, there are CEOs of companies that are uh -huh. grooming their secretaries because they're getting ready to make a pass on them very soon. So mm -hmm. grooming is not only kids, but adults as well. Okay. So Manasseh, he's from the projects? I don't know. I don't know none of these. <laughs> oh, I, I'm just saying. I know that he comes from a very storied family out of, you know, the prophecy world and the prophetic right. world. Uh -huh. uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know their whole story. Is this, so it's not a broken home or? No, he has a mother. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why he why he is being groomed because someone is making silly statements like thinking about you. What if he was thinking about him? What's wrong with being gay? If he's bisexual, that's who he is. Okay, see what you're doing. But demon, not demonizing everything because it runs through them damn churches. I think it is wrong. I think it is wrong to be expecting that. Oh, oh, it's gay. It's worse than anything else in the world. No, it's not worse than anything else in the world. Shit, when you fucking your your, your friend's wife, that's just, just as bad, honey. It's okay. just as bad. But the salaciousness, the salaciousness that this church carries, right? Okay. And we are thinking against our own interests. Okay. When we say okay. this is so horrible, and this man is grooming him because he called a grown man and said, "I like your eyelashes." Okay, Uncle Tim, what you're doing is is that. You are adding in orientation when this is really about abuse of power, no matter who it is. No, there's no abuse of power, Thais. I strongly disagree because okay. this man is from a multi. This man is from a multi-million dollar home. He has worked. We're traveling the world with Benny Hinn. They're ranking in millions and millions of dollars. This man gave TD Jakes a goddamn Rolls Royce. Now, how's he being groomed? Groomed for what? He seems a lot more flirt uh, flirtatious to me. He's the one out here online with his shirt off. He a bishop, and he out here making muscle shirts and, and his clothes off and, and hair in buns and lipstick and all this stuff, child. I'm trying to figure out how in the hell are you, is somebody grooming you? And what it took you so long to, to report this grooming? And why do you need Larry Reed to tell you? You tell him. You tell him. Y'all think they're not in relationship? They're in relationship, child. This is all a game to them. It's only about getting more money out of people. Oh, you left. Uncle Tim. Okay, Uncle Tim. Well, I, well <laughs> Uncle Tim, I, I, I'm just going to say this. Um, you don't have to be a child to be groomed. Orientation is, is not the key factor or key component in grooming. It is about power. And even if you're in a church setting where there's a minister and a young minister, there is a power dynamic in the church. When you have a TD Jakes or whoever, and you have a young person up under them, so they don't have the same power. The, the power structure playing field is not the same, right? So right. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I thank you for your commentary, though, um, Tim. But we're but we're from we're from the streets, right? We both understand mm -hmm. that it, that many people who are young people, they are the ones interested in, in the come up. Uh -huh. It's not always the person because they have a good job. Oh, I'm repeat. So I got to repeat there. Okay, so I'm gonna exit myself. But I'm just saying, when I was a young boy, when I went with with actors and movie people, and they had money, they had a house, they had a car, whatever, they were not grooming me. No, I was working them. We used to call it working it, honey. A lot of people want to come up. And they'll use their sexuality. This guy is, is just clothed in, in presenting as himself as a sexual person, right? So he that doesn't mean that because TD Jakes has a good job that he is grooming him. I don't believe that. What is he to gain from him? If he needs a few hundred thousand to carry him over, he could call Benny Hinn or call his daddy, right? It's not like he, he's trying to get something from TD Jakes. What would he get from him? I just see two men flirting with each other at best. And that will be the benediction. So thanks okay. for having me on. I understand people have different opinions, honey. I'm just giving yes, you. Yes, I respect you. 
I'll okay. I'll address all of this in, in, in a minute, y'all. All right, Tim. Thank you. All right. All right, people. No offense. All Later. All right. Bye bye. Okay, lock this love. Okay, lock this. Okay, lock this love. Okay, you gotta turn me off. Whatever device I'm on, turn it off. Okay, lock this. Okay. Hi, Ty. You can you hear me? Yes, I can, but make sure that you're up. Make sure that if you're listening to me on something. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. But make sure okay. all devices are off if I'm playing in on your TV or whatever. Just make yep, sure that's yep. off. Okay, yep, it's off now. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, so my my question is now, I, I don't agree with everything that Mr. Um, Tim was saying, but I have some questions that are along that line. Now, I grew up in church, you know, all my life. However, I can see now they're, they're, they're really the, you know, the storefront churches, you know, um, maybe 500 members or less. So my my question is, what what is the point or the purpose of these extravagant gifts um, that, you know, that these mentees or people in the church are giving? Now, the, the most we would do is a little, you know, anniversary envelope, uh, you know, revival kind of thing. Um, well, well, you know, a couple hundred dollars, maybe a trip, but a bitly, like, like what yeah, is that? It appears to be like getting the attention of, of the leader for, for what is, what is the trade-off? Cause he doesn't need the money. So is it, is it, is it favor in a way, or is it, can it, can the grooming in your opinion go both ways? Well, we maybe they're have... trying to reel the leader okay. in. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so we don't have a clear timeline as to what happened, when was bought, what was bought, what time it was bought. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, your pastor's appreciation is based on your church and the size of your church. Now, right. we're talking about a mega church and a mega ministry with T.D. Jakes, right? So right. a lot of times when people like Vanessa Jordan buys a car for a T.D. Jakes, it is to show loyalty and it is to show their love for what you have done for them and the access that you have given them, right? So he's not going to go out and buy a Kia or a Prius because you are bringing him in on all of this money and all of this influence and access. And I have to show you that. And I also want to show you how loyal I am to you. So I'm going to buy you the highest of ends of cars ever you know, to show that I am with you, I'm for you, and I, I and I appreciate you. Now, the church on the corner, they may give their pastor a gift certificate to Outback Steakhouse at $100, but mm -hmm. that's based on that church and the size of that church. Okay, okay, I understand that. And I think another thing that would help um, some of us who haven't been in these uh, mega churches or in church most of our lives are these these titles um i'm i'm also a, a lrl i've been listening to larry for years i've been listening to you for years as well and you guys use these terms i hear you say armor bearer a lot i hear larry use a term called adjutant then there's mentee then there is there a particular role for each of these what what are the requirements what what is the job what what are they required to do? Because I think that's where a lot of these things are getting gray when we're talking access, these duties they're supposed to be providing. Um, are, are the are they do they serve both the pastor and the wife? And see, this is where things get separate and things can get a little murky. So what well, what are these titles? Us, for, for most of us church people, it's not murky. We understand what okay. adjectives do, we understand what armor bearers do. They are basically assistance and they are help to the pastor, right? And also, you know, let's just be honest, in, in some circles, the, the adjudicant or the armor bearer or the assistant to the pastor is also his, you know, outside booty or outside meat as well. So it's not great to a big majority of us. We know pastors okay. 
that use their armor bearers as a secondary hold to their wives. We're clear on that. So, um, you know, some people may not understand, you know, the titling of it all, but it, it, it definitely uh, is very clear to a big majority of us. And it varies from denomination to, you know, different churches, geographically, it all just varies on the different roles and titles and uh, duties. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because I I could definitely just by as soon as the story came, out, I said okay, what what I'm used to and what's going on here is is totally different. I mean, the mother, the church, the church board, you know, the the all people who count the money. I, I'm clear with all that, but this stuff is is a lot lot deeper than than what I'm used to, and I'm you know I'm learning a lot uh, through this. Well, okay, well that, that's all I had to say. Thank you so much for having me. You're up. welcome. Thank you. Okay, Robert, you, you're back, Robert. Hey, Robert. Jim, baby, come back. I just wanted to say this one quick thing right quick, and I promise I'm gone. Mm -hmm. This goes back to what I was saying, that most people who are in are being drug into this conversation are people who have not been at church. Most people who know who go to church, we already know when you become a bishop, you forget to get a car. You forget to get all this stuff. Also, when you talk about the who the the type of car that that he gave him, the question is, what was his wife thinking when this little young boy bought her husband a car? That's the question. But when you talk about people who are rich, you won't you don't that Manessa and them don't know nothing about no Toyota Camry. They don't know nothing about no uh, Altima. They don't know anything about these. So a Bentley or something of that caliber is something that's normal. It, it, it's something that's normal. Also, I, I, I want to say too is that uh, with um, the comment that was made before um, Lord, I knew I was going to forget. <laughs> with Mr. Blank um, with, with, who was it that was up here earlier? Um, Tim Blank? Yes. Um, with, 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 with him, it's not necessarily about him being a boy, uh, because I do see what he's talking about where it can get convoluted and we can all be looking like when it's, when it's a, a dude, it's about, you know, abuse or something, but it, it, it's not necessarily about him grooming or what have it. It's not necessarily the act. Uh, or what we're saying that it is, is that he is a person that is of leadership that's in a church that's acting immorally. That it's not about him sending a message or anything. It's about him acting immoral. You can't, you can't, you don't do that. And and the reason why I guess I'm a little bit more passionate about it is because I'm a church musician and I've been living for 40 years and I have had to cur curtail my life to appease church people. I have not gone out. You know, you have to try to walk the straight and narrow way so you can keep your stuff. So you can keep your uh, your your role in church if you want to be a musician in church or whatever it is you want to do. I have lived my entire life where I had to walk this straight line. And then this dude come up here and do this and everybody's like, well, no. Well, why would nobody, nobody's here to, to protect or speak up on our end? So I think that we just need to kind of look at it's more so the moral versus, you know, is it illegal? Um, is two dudes. No, it's just that he's it's immoral. And that's it. All right. Thank you, Robert. River Man. Well, let me Empress, let me see something really quickly. Empress Leon Lona, you're back again, baby. What's going on? I am back again, Thais. I was just gonna say, um, you know, to what Uncle Tim said, like, okay. Um he has a point. So let's take away like the uh, we, other we, guy we need, to, we need you to kind of make this real concise because we got somebody that's been waiting. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say let's I was just gonna say let's take away the gay, even taking away the gay. Um this man professes to be married and be a man of the cloth. That's what it is, you know. Yep, I agree. Thank you, Empress. Thank you. River Mandela, you're up. What's up, Ty East? How are you, my friend? I'm yet holding on. Yes, I'm so proud of you, and I'm so excited to be a, to see another year. 
And I'm extremely excited about this new year, but I'm also extremely heartbroken by the unfortunate, uh, I, I won't say demise, but I'll say the unfortunate shaking and probably two of our most influential African-American male, um, uh, I would say influencers from Tyler Perry to Bishop Jakes. And it just seems like a lot of focus is kind of being put on this secret, unspoken desire for the same sex. And again, I'm in no way saying that that should overshadow any victims coming forward who are accusing Bishop of sexual assault. But I think just the whole secrecy of it all, you know? And I think mm -hmm. just feeling like they can't talk about what they're really feeling because they built these empires around a deeply, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Tyrese? Is it, is it homophobic? Is it, what's the, what's the like, like this billion dollar brand, this mega brand that you've built, it's like, would it have been built the same had you said, hey, I'm Tyler Perry, I'm, I'm bisexual, hey, you know, um, whatever, I'm Bishop Jakes and I've been married 20 years, but I'm dealing with this and I'm dealing with that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, well, and now- the, the, church know, is, the, the church is not set up to restore you um, from a preemptive standpoint. The church is set up to restore you after a fall or they're, they're not, when it comes to same sex attraction, same gender loving people, there's no affirmation there from a religious standpoint in the church, the black church orthodoxy. They're set up to restore you after you get set out and then you get re-delivered and then they can restore you. But if you're coming from the gate or if you're coming, you know, from, you know, previous iterations of whoever you are, no, they, you need to get delivered. You don't, you no, know, you don't need to be in a pool pit. But once the fall happens, they can work with you. And you know, I don't even think the um, sexual lack of integrity is limited to just homosexuality. I think there's a lot of unstable heterosexual bishops who are just don't know how to express their heterosexual desires and they're out here cheating on their wife. And do you see what I'm saying? I think the whole conversation of sexuality across the board, hetero, homo, bi, whatever, it needs to become a lot more transparent. You know, because this ain't working, bro. This ain't working. We're looking a complete mess out here. Like, I feel like I don't think Tyler Perry became a playwright to end up in a mess like this, or Bishop Jakes start preaching at 16 years old to end up here. But like something brought him here and I feel like you have this amazing gift. Everyone looks up to you, but now you got this wife, you got these kids, you got all these people, these preachers looking up to you and you have so much to live up to, but then you still have this desire on the inside and you're like, you know, what do I do? How do I overcome this? You know, I preached to everybody else. Who can I be honest to? Who can I be honest with about what I'm dealing with? So for me, I'm looking at just, you know, I, I hear what I mean. What was his name? Jordan's son. Jordan's son. Manasseh. Yeah, I hear what I hear what Manasseh saying, and I get it. But I, but 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 Larry said Manasseh didn't have any intentions on coming forward. But when Bishop got up two weeks ago, and just expressed really no, no real responsibility for anything, and just acted like we were, you know, speaking a foreign language it provoked this situation we're in now. And so I'm just like, I'm not taking Timothy Blaine's position on it, even though I fully respect Timothy. I was dying laughing when he was talking, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Timothy, comes from, Timothy comes from a different era, you know, than we come from. And yeah. um, although some of our journeys are similar, you know, he comes from a different generation where they see it just really black or white. There is no nuance, there is There's no gray no area. Nuance. But, yeah, but you I, know what, I, I, I get it. But but you know, Tyrese, me and you, like, like we like, like we like steps up to fifty, right? I'm forty, I'm forty eight. You're forty seven, right? Right. Yeah. So I feel like we know, we know the hustle and the grind that comes with life, and even the church. And even though we're saying, oh, I'm honoring the bishop, I'm spending a hundred thousand dollars to get him a brand new Bentley, I'm, but they're still like. 
I won't say everybody, but I think there's still that slickness that can that can creep in. And they, because even though you, even though you may not be attracted to this person, so you're not gonna be with them sexually, or remember, you know, or, or never had any intention on being with them sexually, it's kind of like you still came with an agenda. And I don't think it's always pure. I'm not saying that's Manasseh, but I do think the whole just giving all this money, giving all these gifts to somebody, you know, just because they're mentoring you, I think that needs to be revisited too. Like. You know, like, just chill out, bro. Just get the word, get the wisdom. You know, don't feel like you got to give everything you got to a man because the minute he comes on to you, the minute he, he disappoints you, we're in this situation, right? Right. But you're giving right. all this money and all this stuff to a man who's still fighting his own flesh, who's still battling his own demons. So I think that needs to be revisited too. Like, you know, kind of balancing out our perception of our pastor. The Bible says... The greatest among you will be the servant of all. So let's look at your pastor's servanthood and not just his gift or the size of his crowd. Because we're looking at our mentors now. Who has the biggest crowd? Who can outpreach the person? And it's like, let's look at their servanthood. Let's look at who they are off stage. Or, you know, let's look at some other things besides what's, you know, what's so glamorous. Because I think that can be misleading in itself. So, Tyrese, this is just my heart. I kind of wanted to take a different perspective. Because I was just like, there's just several things I see in this besides what Larry showed in that picture last night. There's more going on behind what got Jake's here than just what we saw in that picture last night. And I think mm -hmm. if we limit this to him having sexual conversations with the mentee and not look at just where he's at and all he had to contend with that brought him to this vulnerable place. And if he broke the law, if he if he if he if he abused Manasseh, Manasseh should sue the hell out of him. Now, I believe that he should get everything he got coming to him. But on the same note, I like to be objective and critically think about everything. And you we know have, what I'm saying? And we have to do that. And we we're not people that know how to research. They understand Manasseh Jordan's background, and they understand Manasseh Jordan if they if they know how to Google and do. A thorough, <laughs> they get it, and yeah. they also know how to look up everybody involved, all the players involved, right? If you're smart, just Google. Um, I'm not here tonight to um, pull out receipts on Manasseh, pull out receipts on Larry. My thing is just expanding the conversation, laying out what we know this far, yeah, like kitchen table talk. So exactly. I'm not here to tell you, uh, well, y'all know what they say about Manasseh, you know, because at the end of the day, if you know how to Google and look it up, you can go find it. The same thing with T.D. Jakes. I'm not here to windmill or destroy yeah. this man. And at yeah. the end of the day, honey, Google is free, you know, and <laughs> not just power. Yes, exactly. So that's yeah. So that was my take on it because I wanted to kind of contribute to the conversation, and just add some nuances. And those of us that know the power of prayer to pray for everybody involved, it's easy to get um, salacious and follow the tea. But you said something last night. Was I think it was last night or the night before last? No, last night you was like, I think most of us gonna be up late tonight. And you know what, bro? I was up to like four or five o'clock last night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I believe what you said captured the seriousness of what's happening here. That, that you don't get a Bishop Jakes every century. What's on his life and the impact he has made, aside from the allegations, aside from everything everybody got to say about him, what God has put on Bishop Jakes in the anointing, you don't get that every every century. So, so for him to be in this situation, it's affecting a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so I am praying for him because I. I, you know, I want him to get the healing, the growth he needs from this, even if he has to pay a penalty. You know, I don't want him to drown and, and die like the other one died. You know what I'm saying? With, with just this other reality going on, everybody's looking at you like, bro, we know what happened. And then we just it's, have buried another, another giant. And see, you're, you're still in, like, in the vein and in the river of, of black, the black church. I am so detached and removed from this. <laughs> I am allowing God to do whatever he needs to do. I am literally standing back like, listen, I ain't got nothing to do with this, Lord. 
whatever you need to do because the truth of the matter is I can hear your heart while you're talking. And there's okay. so many people out there like you where this is personal and it's it's really bad and whatnot. But there are a lot of us in this chat tonight who feel like all involved, you know, chickens have come home to roost because they destroyed a many a soul and didn't think twice about what they did to us. They literally destroyed a lot of people's spirits and souls and, and not giving it giving a sign when they're asked about stuff, when they're asked about LGBTQ people and they want, you know, and not really giving a sign. So now your situation has come and now you got to give it real sound for real. You're not going to be able to mumble this one away. So I'm just sitting back and just watching how it all plays out. <laughs> but in the meantime, yeah. I'm a blogger, honey. I have bills to pay. <laughs> <laughs> and I get that. When we all coming on from different perspectives. And and, and and I'm glad that you share your perspective. And I, and I respect that. You know, and, and here's my thing. And the, the Bible says, what you've done to the least of these, you've mm -hmm. done to me. So for every oppressed victim who's been just lost in the cracks of church through hypocrisy, mm -hmm. you know, no one walks away scot-free. So I, I think I stand with you in that as well, you know? Well, I, don't, and if, and if, I don't want you to, I don't want you, um, thank you, Rob J, for your cash app. I really appreciate it. I don't want you to hear me what I just said, River, and think that, oh, oh he hears my heart, but he don't give a damn. I understand that church folks and the church family people and stuff, this is a bad time for y'all. But we have been so hurt, all of us outside people, that we really just don't give a damn about the hierarchy. We don't. We're like, we're like okay, girl, y'all just have to deal with it. What you mean the hierarchy? But no, I listened to you, Thais, and you said something today. You was like, he was like, if he ain't, if he ain't living right, who, who's out here living right? Like, when you said that, it gave me the impression, like, you understand people had 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 an impression of Bishop James. Yeah. People people have him on a standard. Like, dang, and he, he he's he's sending photos. <laughs> he, he doing what, you know, the nigga around the street doing. That's I mean, that's how people are looking at, you know? So, you know, so I think that um I get what you're saying. Like <laughs> Ty, you're so funny. I, but I love you. I love you to people. I don't care. I don't care about Sarita, and I think a lot of the reason why I just could not get back into them was the Michelle yeah. Lyle situation. That Michelle Lyle situation and just the overall energy that they have, well, this family is really flawed, right? Like really flawed. And yeah. they have this air about themselves, like they're the Kennedys or the Jackson. <laughs> and it's like, well, y'all are really, really flawed people. And we all are. But don't yeah. act like you're uh, uh, above reproach. So I just don't, I don't care. I really, really don't. I, I, I'm but, sorry that people are hurting. The church body is hurting and stuff. But yeah, we all hurting, honey. I heard it. I heard it a lot. So we just, we all just going to have to hurt together right now. We're going to have to hurt together. <laughs> what I is, you know what? You are a class act. You always keep me laughing. And and and, 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 and you know, an old song I heard a while ago says, this too, by James Cleveland, this too shall pass. It may not look like it right now. But this too shall pass, and we'll learn something from it. And hopefully, you know, we're not here in another decade. Because what I think this, uh, this, this will pass. Yeah. But there's gonna be a, a, a when it's when the storm, the hurricane passes over. It's gonna look like the way hurricanes do when they come through. And you know what? Now that right there, that that a preach. Yeah, yeah. This is not what we saw ten years ago. This is something on a whole. Oh, this nothing. is totally different. Nothing. Totally different. And, uh -huh. and 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 that and that's my heart because I'm looking at everyone attached to this whole scenario and just oh Jesus I mean a part of me I am afraid um because I just I have a heart for people even the people who hurt me like I still don't wish anybody harm because I know sometimes people get themselves in situations and they don't consider the consequences and so I just hate to see people in a situation like this but Thais oh by the way brother well I'll email you. Anyway, good night. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Love you, brother. All right. Love you. Um, okay, everybody. Programming note, there will be no Patreon tonight. We run over too long. Patreon will be moved to Saturday, uh, January 4th. 
please make a note. There will be no Patreon tonight. We have run over. Uh, if you were looking forward to Patreon, just look for Thursday night, and then we'll have a show on Saturday night, okay? So please make a note of it. We've run a little too long to go into Patreon. Okay. Isaiah, hey, brother. Mother, how are you this evening? I'm yet holding on. <laughs> Keep on keeping on. I, I think um, I've listened to, I came on at the end of uh, Mr. Tim's um, when he was speaking. I, I want us to realize that this situation um, is quite different. Uh, I think we can all say that this is quite different from almost 20 years ago with Eddie Long. You have social media is one influence. That's one thing. Um, and and like the point that you made with the uh, Bishop Jordan, uh, I think you said he gave T.D. Jakes a, 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 a Rolls Royce or what have you. Um, this is really discouraging. It's discouraging to see that two sides, the way that they have chastised the same people that they don't want in their churches <laughs> are now looking at them on the other side and saying, you're no better. And then to the point where the gentleman was just making, you know, we've, ho we've held these people up to a standard. That's the problem. I think we come to the point where we 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 hold people in so much high regard that we put them up there like they're God Jr. And we don't realize that these are everyday people just with a title, just with a name, just with status. These are people that go home and live lives not like us because they have more money. They have more uh, probably assets, but they live lives just like us in a sense. And so I think it's a period of hurting. I think it's a period of we, we're looking at them because from my standpoint, growing up in church all my life, you know, um, there were things you just didn't see or you never thought you would see. I never thought Taught that I would see, you know, a little kid, you watch T.D. Jakes, he was some big preacher and, you know, the mega, the mega crusades that he do. Now it's kind of like, okay, now, Bishop, um, you really made some people like grandmas, aunties, mothers are like, oh my God, Dr. Bishop. And then they get on this train of, well, he would never, he would never. When there's evidence, when there is people coming out and coming forward saying, this was done to me. No matter how we feel about it, if we feel it's true or not, you can never negate somebody's story. I want us to realize that. I know it. we, we weren't there, so we don't know. But don't ever negate somebody's story, even though we live in a time where people just making up stuff for money and stuff. I'm going to tell you something. Manasseh Jordan don't need money. He don't need money. <laughs> the Jordan family don't need money. If he needed it that bad, his father got it. So um, I really just want us to kind of look at look at some of those standpoints and really pray for these people. Pray for these people. Pray for the uh, people. Uh, 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 Isaiah, I finish your thought. I'm not praying for nobody. <laughs> but if you want to talk to the, the, the high squad and the visitors, go ahead. But I just want to say I ain't praying for nobody. But go ahead. Finish your statement. You know, I, I'm, I was going to say pray for the people that God See, I'm prayerful. Well, let me say this then. I'm prayerful that God really, I, 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 I want them to be exposed because this is a year of exposure. It's a lot of folk, a lot more folk will be coming up and being exposed for the stuff that they're doing. But I'm just prayerful that we can show them, well, at least I can find it in my heart to show these people a little bit of grace because what they've done to the black church making money off of the people that tithe to them, the thousands and the millions that have come into their ministries. And now for the people that sold into their ministries to see just how crooked they were in the first place, <laughs> really does my heart a disservice. And so, um, yeah, 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 it remains to be seen, Mother. It surely does that. That's for sure. All right. Well, thank you for calling in. All righty, the Mother. All right. <laughs> Hey, Dwayne. Mother, y'all are making it hot on tonight. It is hot tonight. Ooh, y'all are in these streets. Um, thank you. 
Uncle Tim, boy, he came through like a hurricane. Um, and the previous speaker said, uh, Prophet Manasseh doesn't need money. Okay, I want us to keep that in mind. Okay, I want us to keep that in mind. But I want to go back to the car. Because I told you that is what, that's what's tugging on me, the car. And everybody's saying, oh, well, it's a Bentley and, you know, Manasseh has so much money. I mean, he doesn't, you know, that's that's what he looks at. Well, he certainly knew that a Kia wasn't an appropriate gift for Bishop Jakes. He knew that a Hyundai wasn't exactly the car that he wanted to give as a present. He knew that in order to stand out or whatever, that that present had to be of some enormous value. And that Bentley, I, I, listen, I know that he is wealthy, but he certainly knows the value of money. He's not ignorant. He's a very intelligent person, right? So I have two questions. I just have two questions that have been on my heart as, as I've been listening. I want to know, during the time, because, and I only ask this question because uh, uh, Uncle Tim did bring up a good point that this relationship happened while Manessa was an adult. It didn't happen when he was a, a child. It didn't happen when he was 15 or 16. It happened when he was, was an adult. And we know that he is an up and coming televangelist. So he has, you know, and, and rightly so, Manessa has aspirations. He wants to be somebody in life. Okay, that's fine and that's fair. And I don't, I don't judge him for that. We all have aspirations. But what I want to know is my first question is, and I know we probably can't answer that here tonight, but was Manessa expecting some sort of major position in the church as a result of, of his relationship with T.D. Jakes? And number two, was he competing with other people for T.D. Jakes' attention or affection? Because when you buy a Bentley, you, you for somebody else, you're really trying to stand out. Or you want somebody to say, oh, okay, well, I'm going to definitely remember the person who bought me that car, okay? Now, that's not to say that uh, T.D. Jakes didn't use all of this to his advantage. You know, that's not to say that. But those are the two questions um, that I have. And anybody who's going to look at this with a clear head, I'm telling you, if it, it, I, I tell you like I know, if you take this to any prosecutor or any district attorney, they will ask these tough questions. And one of the things is that we don't have, we, we couldn't see all the text messages. So we don't know what sort of motivations are involved. Like, did, was what was in Manessa's head while all of this was going on? Where was where was his mindset? We just see right now. We see we have the little drip drab, and we're trying to piece it all together. But again, I'll leave it at that. Those are the two questions that I have. Uh, let us mull over it. Uh, let us make it hot. You know what I mean? And let's let's. Uh, but I think that by these by having so many differing opinions, we will get at the truth. We will eventually get at something that resembles the truth. Or, but we, or, or we may not, because these introductory receipts let M Bishop Jakes know what you know where we're going with this, mm -hmm. and, and they're 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 clear signal to him. Listen, this is where we're going with this, and we do have two other people waiting in the wings. So you know, this may all go away very soon. Oh, with, with a quick, with the envelope, uh-huh. It will mm -hmm. ramp up. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, we'll stay tuned, Mother. We'll stay tuned. All right, Dwayne. Thank you. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, Dwayne, Hello. making that news? I wasn't going to come up, but I thought I've got to say something. Um, from the perspective of the victims, mm -hmm. I want everyone to, to I'm going to give you a hypothetical situation okay. that's mixed with truth, okay? And talking about power dynamics and those who are in authority over a victim. Picture this. A bishop has armor bearers. It is time for trash to be put out on the said day. The bishop forgets, so he says, to put his trash out. He then calls his married armor bearer that lives 10 miles away to come and put out his trash. What does the armor bearer do? 
he comes, he leaves his wife and his children, and he comes to the bishop's house and put out the trash. That is a power move. This, these kinds of things are what people in authority like Bishop Jakes do. They play little games and exert their power and authority. And so if any of you have not understood that power dynamic, some of this won't make any sense. But I want to advocate on the part of the victims that they have been um, subjugated and they are in a position of less power and less uh, prestige. I agree 100%. Joanne? Thank you, dear. I appreciate I you letting me come up. I agree. Thank you for walking us through that. Okay. So, um, you know, there are a lot of people, you know, that feel a certain way about grooming and adults and all of that stuff, y'all. And there's so many people uh, that are telling what should be done and they should do this and they should do this. And nobody really wants to wait to see what's coming. Uh, they should have dropped everything on the same night. And everything that drops is not going to be enough for these people, that's why. And whatever they did, they should have did something else. Uh, 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 if you... If you went live and discussed it, well, you should go to the police. If you go to the police, well, what took you so long to go to the police? So I'm just letting y'all know. It's just, it's, it's never ending. So you go to the police and make a police report. Well, why you didn't go to the FBI? You go to the FBI and report it to the FBI. Well, why you didn't go to the CIA? It's just, it's never ending with black people. What we will do is we will go hard like Johnny Cochran on the hypotheticals and the what ifs. But we don't go to bat for victims like overall. You know, we want to talk about his sexuality, how well dressed he is, uh, because that's some type of, you know, reasoning for <laughs> he's well dressed, he's effeminate. So, okay, what do you expect? That's how people talk. Like, he's a feminine man, he's well dressed, you know. Shouldn't he be groomed? You know, shouldn't he expect to be groomed? That's what we're at as a people. You know, and it just it's it's unfortunate, but like I said, we have to really just really really be mindful of how much stock we put in people, how much stock we put in man, you know, how much stock we put in these pastors, because we will be disappointed. We're gonna be let down every time. We're gonna be let down every time. These people are mortal and fallible, just like us. So well, when you get your feelings hurt, and now there's a whole movement that's sad because, you know, there was an inbox that came in right now. Two inboxes came in. Well, not inboxes. Two emails came in. First one came from Marie. And she said, I'm resending this. I have the wrong address. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to put everything that you put in the email, um, Marie. Um, but you said, I'm not a member of Potter's House. However, me and my family have been blessed and encouraged um, by his ministry over many years. I agree with Tim Blaine. This is a witch hunt by blank, allegedly. Uh, and that's your words, allegedly, not mine. This is a witch hunt by blank, allegedly. The photo blank showed was not even a selfie from Bishop. So MJ must have well, blank, MJ, must have not even, must have screenshot the photo and got with LR to, you know, like, y'all, come. I mean, I was trying to do, like, the blank part and leave the names out, but I, I'll just say, like, y'all, is this where we're at right now? Like, for real? Like, these people who are millionaires, would conspire together, <laughs> conspire together. And I was trying to leave the names out, but you know, listen, it is what it is. Ma'am, 
for real, multi-millionaires sitting up and cutting and pasting pictures. This is some of the mentality that's, you know, coming from the church, y'all. And I'm not being disrespectful to you, to you Marie. Uh -huh. Must have screenshot the photo and got with somebody to link to doctor the photo. Fake news, so I am concerned. I hear the enemy roaring like a lion. But where is the church? In fact, the church is where they've always been, Marie. Running to the pulpit, putting envelopes on the pulpit. The church has been where they've always been. And where they going to be Sunday, Marie? And I still love you, Marie. So I am concerned. I hear the enemy warrant like a lion, but where is the church? In fact, where are the preachers who made a beeline down to the potter's house for prayer and restoration when they were caught in indiscretion? Is there one of them who will come out and stand with Bishop? Is there one of you who will come out and say, I hear these allegations, but this has not been my experience? Ma'am, why are you telling me all of this? Y'all need to go right now. <laughs> you need to go down and get you a bullhorn, Marie, and go down there to the potter's house. Why are you emailing me this? I don't work with these people, Marie. Uh, uh, is there one of them who will come out and stand with Bishop? Is there one of you who will come out and say, I hear these allegations, but this has not been my experience or character of the Bishop T.D. Jakes? I know because rest assured, it is Bishop Jakes today and possibly them tomorrow. Do not be fooled. Other preachers are not exempt from these type of slanderous uh, uh, allegations. This is bigger than Bishop Jakes. The church is under attack. The members are sitting on the sideline. This means war, people. Man, why are you telling me this? This means war, people. It is time for the church to rise up. I'm making a clarion call to the church, the body of Christ across this nation, to stand up now with Bishop Jakes and his family. Speak out against the enemy. Uh, she said, I'm resending. I had the wrong email address. Listen to your live. Sister Marie. Honey, the gig is up. There's a storm out on the ocean and it's quickly passing this old wave. Now, I, I hate that you're upset, Sister Marie, about all this going on. Uh, 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 but I, I can't help Bishop Jakes. I can't. Nobody in the chat can help Bishop Jakes. The only person that can help Bishop Jakes is Bishop Jakes. Yes, and that's only a uh, Marie. I don't know, baby. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And then the next person, uh, Leon Robinson, email. Uh, check this T. MJ seems to be not in a good place for a long time. Check out the different lawsuits. Did you see the expensive gift he gave the prophet who was unaliving about? Allegedly, y'all need to be careful how y'all word stuff, honey. Make sure you word it correctly. You know what I'm saying? Did you see the expensive gift he gave the prophet who was unaliving or the S word about? Okay. I, I don't know, baby. I don't know. I, I You know, these riddles and stuff. I don't know, baby. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I got to go. I got to go, honey. I need a, I need a rum and coke. Uh, 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 I don't even smoke weed. I need a blunt, honey. Um. Whatever y'all feel about Manasseh Jordan, y'all go, no matter what they come out with, they can find a video of Bishop Jakes. And I'm not saying there is one. They can find a video and y'all still gonna be like, well, he enticed him. He should have been so damn sexy. Uh, it was them tight pants that did it. And so it don't matter, y'all. It don't matter. Uh huh. Uh, uh huh. I had a great experience with Potter's House, yet I'm still concerned. We can't assume that we, the thing about church people and church brain people, as Larry say is, is that their brains are just disconnected from logic and critical thinking. It's just, it's nothing there. It's just a disconnect, y'all. It's a disconnect, like critical thinking. They are just so connected to religiosity 
and that dogma, there's nothing you can do. we just say, listen, I'm praying for you, sis. I ain't praying for nobody. I ain't praying for, I'm sick of praying for people. I'm tired of praying. Y'all pray. But mother, we've seen you pray. You're an you OG prayer warrior. It still is, am. I'm saving my prayers for somebody that may be battling cancer or somebody trying to get a damn job or somebody trying to get financing on their damn I'm gonna do home. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit up here and waste my damn prayers on these damn nickel six scandals. Uh, call, go right there and tell the lawyers to investigate. I don't know why y'all sending me this shit. I already know what, uh, uh, what's going on behind the scene. Uh, uh, we just want to let you know. Y'all ain't got to let me know shit. Bishop Jakes got money, money. And a lot of these girls don't understand it, honey. Listen, when y'all go right there and throwing these bricks up in people's houses, you better be prepared for the ramifications of the ramifications. When you go around there and you busting bottles in the street and throwing bottles at these people churches, you better be prepared for the ramifications. Because John Crawford said the sword cuts both ways. All we can do, Ty Squad, new followers and new subs is wait for more receipts to drop or wait for it to disappear. Because everybody believes right now that Christian Keys got an envelope. That's the word on the curve. I don't have any proof of that, but that's what people believe. Christian Keys got his envelope. He just went on about his life. Ain't no damn revelation coming. Ain't no damn press conference. Christian Keys got his envelope and said, fuck everybody, kiss my ass. And many of you in this chat believe that's what's coming for everybody involved in this situation. Because Brother Larry did say that. He spoke about settlements and what people deserve. Christian Keys is a Tyler Perry actor that went viral three weeks ago. We talked about that earlier in the show. Is this a play for justice? If there's criminality, or is this a play for settlements, financial settlements? Cassie brought in a, a spirit of settlement oil when she got her envelope in 26 hours. So once people saw that settlement, they said, oh, mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Settlements is the main focus, in my opinion. How many people think that exposure and court is the portion. How many people think it's an envelope play? Uh, when we say envelopes, we talk about nice envelopes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How many people say, uh, I smell a settlement spirit? And how many people say, Mother, I think they want to dismantle the, uh, uh, the, the potter's house leadership and they want to take it down? And, and take it to court. Mm -hmm. I walk by Cassie Condo. I don't see her. Child, they said Cassie um picked up her phone from the French Riviera and said, "I'm not, I, 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 I'm not taking any interviews right now." I said, "All right." She picked up the phone from the French Riviera and said, "I'm not handling any interviews right now." Mm hmm. Uh, pass me the grape coupon. Uh-huh. I sense the spirit of settlement until they can dismantle the kingdom of Jakes. Mm. Well, Brother Larry has said that he don't think Bishop Jakes' brand would, you know, can be dismantled. He thinks the brand is so strong. You know, we do have brands like um we have brands like Kraft, uh 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 Kellogg and stuff. They're just it's a part of Americana. It would take a mighty, mighty thing to take those brands down. Can y'all give me some more brands that would be hard to take down? Uh, uh, McDonald's. They did a whole documentary on McDonald's where this man uh, uh, um, had a hamburger, set it in the corner, and the hamburger didn't even rot. And hell, McDonald's still going. There are some companies that just, it's going to be hard. Beyonce, 
Yeah, she's a hard brand to, to chip away at. I can say this. I believe T.D. Jakes, the man, the bishop, can be taken down. Honey, I've seen white people taken down for less. White uh, 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 evangelicals. So, hold on one second. So, uh, 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 um, okay, you welcome, Marie. Um, thanks, Thais. I'm speaking to the preachers, not to you, sweet. Okay, I don't have a channel yet, so I appreciate you sending my message. Okay, Marie. I, I, no problem. I don't have nothing to do with it. I can't. I can't go up there to the potter's house. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Reed. Bishop Jakes can be taken down. The potter's house, maybe it is established enough that under the leadership of Sarah and that man, the talented Mr. Ripley, her husband, maybe they can withstand this. I think the potter's house can withstand it, but Bishop Jakes himself, I don't think so, y'all. I'm serious. I think People don't want to hear that. Mm -mm. We done been through too much for any long and all these people, honey. They don't want to hear all that no more. They don't want to hear that. I have sinned. <laughs> no, they don't want to hear that no more. Mm -hmm. um, new birth, the brand, the church survived, the one man's discretion. God is bigger than any brand. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Whew. That's why. What a live, what a show. What a live, what a show. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. I'm not going anywhere, y'all. I'm going to let the numbers go down. I'm going to let the numbers go down. I'm going to sit and talk with y'all until the numbers go down. Uh, once the numbers go down, I'll make my way uh, down the road. I thank everybody for coming by. Uh, this is one of the quickest ways to clear the place out. This is one of the quickest ways to get everybody up out of here. It's offering time. This you'll see the numbers drop like <laughs> like a slot machine. It is offering time. If you enjoyed this commentary tonight, make sure you send a seed tonight. Let's do everybody that can get a seed of one hundred dollars. One zero zero. I know you have it. Today is the second. Checks have already been dropped. Mm hmm. I love you more, Wayne. Oh, my mas, thank y'all so much, because y'all was not playing tonight. Uh, uh, everybody that can, get a seat of $100. We're trying to get 10 people, uh, 10 people, $100. I know you have it. Move quickly. Uh, thank you so much, Darth, Trish, Allah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, thank you so much. We all need a drink. Um, the Potter's House itself can stand because they have so many churches and different places. Uh -huh, but TDJ, yeah, I think T.D. Jackson will uh, have to go sit down. Uh, bills have to be paid here. Uh, 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 sow a seed. Move quickly. Cash app is available right now for y'all. Cash app, Venmo. Um, somebody just sent $10. Thank you, uh, Sister Matthews. Whatever you send tonight, we appreciate you and we thank you for it, Ty Squad. Whether it's $5, $15, $50, $100, whatever you send, we appreciate it. Thank you, Bliss Empire. I appreciate you. Um, I think Larry is live or was live while we were on Tyswad. Um, I, I'm not sure what the conversation is about. Let me go see. I think Brother Larry was live. Let's see what the hell is going on around there. Uh, okay. Trendy topics. Taraji, Fantasia, Funky Deneva, Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, Wooden. Okay. Okay. So he was live. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Clarinda Michelle. I appreciate you, baby. I appreciate you. Yeah, continue to sow a seed, everybody. Give, give, give. Uh-huh. This ain't easy to sit here for two hours and, 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 and make sure you're entertained. So don't just come by and, and, and put up a heart or two. Uh, donate, 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 donate. Okay? Okay. With a thousand people in here, we really should have a nice bucket at the end of this live. Uh-huh. Exposure makes them address their issue and money. Uh, them keep, uh-huh, uh-huh. He said the Bible is a book of spells. Okay, okay. Who said the Bible is a book of spells? 
great show tonight. Thank you, Pamela White. Thank you, sis. Uh-huh. There are families working ministries. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you, Tim Bree. Mm, thank you, Tim Bree. Larry did say that. Um, the the um thank you. Um somebody just said a PayPal. Thank you so much. Um, the France, thank you, uh, the France. Larry Reed said that the Bible's a book of spells. Everybody's entitled to their belief based on their spiritual principles. Everybody's entitled to that, y'all. You may not believe it's a book of spells, but somebody else may believe that, and they're entitled to that, Ty Squad. Uh-huh. Mm. I need to pull that scripture MJ reference today. I think it was Psalms 51. Hey, Ty, real quick, ask him for prayer for me. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. We're praying for you, Brother Prim. We're praying for you. Uh-huh, and the bereaved families uh, of those that are lost. We're praying for you, brother. God is able to see you through. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, if it's a book of spells to him, y'all, what, what are we going to do? Make him feel another way about it? You know? Mm. Uh, oh, thank you, CJ's mom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, y'all know we do conjuring up in the church. Y'all know we do conjuring. We bring in the spirit and stuff. Y'all know we do conjuring over there at the church. Yeah, we do. Thank you, Amy Jones, for your cash app. I appreciate it. You know, mm -hmm. we do conjuring. Mm. Uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm going to let him believe what he want to believe. Okay. And if he believes it's a book of spells, y'all, how does that change your walk with Christ? Okay. Say he believes it's a book of spells. Um, what does that what does that do to your walk? Uh, how do, how has your life changed? That's why. It is what it is. Satan has no sense of time. He'll call you anytime. He's always up. He never goes. To... <laughs> Damn. Let me tell y'all something, Tasqua. I didn't know how many people did not like Loretta Jones. And I'm finding out how many people don't like Bishop Jakes and the Jakes family. I'm finding out out in real time as a blogger. I had no idea how many people did not like Loretta Jones until that lady popped her in the mouth. And it's a lot of people that do not like the Jakes family. They don't. Uh, if y'all are watching to the Jakes family, it's a lot of people out here that do not like y'all. They just don't. I'm sorry. You cannot be serious right now. Texas has known about. Okay, can y'all please not put these names y'all made up for this man in the chat? Okay, it's defaming. You know? Don't put these names y'all made up for this man in my damn chat. You know, I gave the uh, task squad. Um, Free reign tonight. Some of y'all lucky y'all not in the punishment trailer. I sent my offering through Zell. Oh, thank you. Some of us are not after same Christian order. Some of us don't believe like the the, the 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 church has done such a number on our community. The church has done a number on us, honey. We just honey, it's a mess. Thank you, Benson, for your cash yeah, brother. Thank y'all so much. How much money with how short how much money we got left? Mm-hmm. To raise. Okay, we need a few more dollars. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. We still need a couple of more dollars, Ty Squad. We, we need about 500 more dollars. Keep the money coming. Keep the cash flowing. Uh-huh. We still need about 500 more damn dollars. Mm. Uh-huh. Amen. Thank you, Dwayne. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. Whew. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Marlia. Mar Marlia, wait, Marlia. Marlia, I, I can't pronounce it. Thank you, I McDonald. Mar, I think it's Marlia. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not doing nothing. Patreon is canceled. 
postpone, honey. I'm going to bed. I'm going to watch me one good TV show and I'm out. I can't. This man, T.D. Jakes, honey, I won't be covering this until Larry Reed drops his next receipts. I'm sorry. I don't have nothing else. If they drop some more receipts, we'll be back. But until the end, honey, I cannot. I can't. I'm just, I'm just beat. And it's, it's hard to go to sleep at night when you see people, you know what I'm saying? When you see people that, you know, Mm-hmm. Truth ain't true. Oh, my God. No, you didn't say that. This is sick, Uncle Tim. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, evidently, they haven't hit the live button. Uh-huh. They haven't hit the live button. Uh, hit the live button, baby. Uh-huh. Ty, you were charging. That's why we try to raise this money. That's why we try to raise this cash. All 900 of you, make sure you sit in the office. Thank you, Darius Hall. Uh-uh. Make sure you sit in some cash over here, honey. Because I've been on nearly two hours and uh, 30 minutes. If uh, 1,000 who are here just sent a dollar. Yeah, let's try that. Everybody sent $2 tonight. That's $1,800. You know, a lot of these people don't have cash app though, Dwayne. Let's see if everybody sent 2 or $3 in and see if that'll help. 900 times 3 is um, $2,700. Let's see if we can do that. My issue with Jakes is that he was acquainted with Prophet Jordan and was friends with Prophet Jordan's dad. Okay, <laughs> okay. Everybody just send two dollars. Just send two bucks. Um, now I don't do two dollar offerings, y'all. I'm just being honest. I'm the first, I am the first lady of Cash App. I don't really do two dollar offerings, y'all. But um, since somebody suggested it, we will try it out for this one time only. I don't do two dollar cash apps, honey. I don't, but because the, uh, the it's kind of packed up in here, we'll try it out uh, one night only. The people are divided. There's tension in the chat. Both side eyeing of one another. Yeah, I mean, listen, a lot of people are pro Manessa, and then you got pro Larry Reed. Then you got anti Larry Reed. You got anti TD Jakes. I most definitely agree because tonight's show, you can't be passive with everyone. We give out too many warnings about names, language, and hearsay, and she say in the chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank y'all for these $2. Uh, 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 shy, I don't really do these $2 and stuff, honey. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for these $2, honey. I don't really do $2 cash apps, honey. Uh, they coming in kind of heavy. Though. Damn. Thank you, Sherman. Thank you, Cynthia. Um, Cynthia, $5. Courtney, all these $2 coming in. I don't really do $2 cash apps, y'all, but we'll take it. We'll take it tonight only, honey. This will not happen again. $2 Tuesday. Look at all these $2 coming in. Damn. Mm. Oh, baby, they are pouring in. Maybe that's what you have to say. Just send $2. Oh, that did make a difference, though, Tyswa. I don't really do $2 cash apps, honey. I'm the first lady of cash app, honey. I don't really do that kind of stuff. Man, these $2 are coming in. I can show y'all if y'all don't believe it. It's just coming in as we speak. Uh, Dwayne, that was your suggestion. Look, it won't stop. Oh, it stopped. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, 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 the $2 cash app, it was gone for a minute. It was gone. It was gone. Uh, um, the 2 and $3 cash apps, oh, it stopped. Okay, it stopped. Uh, we're going to do a countdown. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, we're done. Uh huh. A lot of people say that on um, the friends. Uh, two dollars here. Oh, there goes something. Somebody just came in. We're gonna do this like a Jerry Lewis uh, board. Oh wow, it's coming in. I just, I just need to set this right here, huh? Uh, what can I set this on? I need to put this. <laughs> What can I put this on? Let me see. Uh, wait, you are a mess. Okay, let me see if I can make. Let me see if I can make me a little board. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's see if I can make me a little telethon board. It's not that easy. Let me see if I can make me a telethon board. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I think we can make a telethon board. Oh, we can. Okay, but I gotta make sure this is okay. But it's in the it's in the way of the camera. Okay, there it goes. Okay, that's our tell. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Can I bring it this way? Okay, wait a minute. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I gotta bring the light out of it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Jeez. That's our telethon board, Tie Squad. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, too far over, too far over. Oh, that is perfect. Okay. Um, uh, 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 we got a, a telethon board, y'all. Ain't that something? Ain't that hot? Ain't that hot, Tie Squad? <laughs> oh, ain't that hot? I like that. Uh, uh, Bliss Empire said, I love it. Mm hmm. Uh, make it hot. Y'all hit that uh, Hit that cash app for this coverage, y'all. Hit this cash app for this coverage. I gotta go to bed. Hold on, they call it in the donations. Uh, Harrison and Ross Family Mortuaries. This is Dolores. How may I help you? Harrison and Ross Family Mortuaries. This is Dolores. Where is the pickup at? Uh huh. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. I like saying that when I pick up the phone. Angela's funeral home. This is Onika. Hi. How may I direct your call? Mm hmm. Doolin Soul Food on Crenshaw. Would that be pick up or take out? Okay. And then then. Y'all or damn y'all. Okay, um, okay. I thank God, y'all. I thank God for y'all. We yes, we did. Yes, we did. I'm trying. I'm trying to do this 500 tonight, y'all. Well, we're trying to do 500 if we can, y'all. Uh huh. 500 is the goal, honey. We. we, we. <laughs> we're trying to do this 500 tonight if I can, y'all. I know what's out there. My spirit. <laughs> My spirit is telling me it's out there. Uh huh. Wait, wait. Oh, my spirit telling me that 500 out there. We just gonna let this shit roll. Let it roll. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, let it roll. Now, y'all, we did 1,200 one night, right? We've done 1,100. We've done 1,200. So this ain't nothing. We can reach this goal. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, we reached, uh, we did what we did 1,200. We've done 1100, 900. So this ain't nothing. 500, that's a that's an easy night. <laughs> oh, once we get that 500, we can take this down, y'all. Um will there will there be more receipts? Will there be more receipts? I hope so. I hope so, Ty Squad. I hope so. Um I I, I don't want to discount. I don't want to discount Manasseh's experience either, Ty Squad. Mm -hmm. I don't want to discount Manasseh's um, experience as just because he bought a car or he may be a feminine or he may be, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, 444, four, four, that's a lucky number. You know, I don't want to discount his experience, Ty Squad. I really don't. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, whatever happened, whatever happened with him, I think he has a right. Uh-huh. Who preached Sunday at the Potter's house? That man that be hosting the pre-show, he can't preach to me. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of a lot of the preachers at the Potter's house, at the Potter's house, they do give you motivational speaking. And that's no shade. They kind of give you like motivational speaker, whatever. So yeah, you know, I'm just being honest. You ain't gonna get a real good hoop and a holler. Mm-hmm. I will be joining and donating tonight. Check, uh, hit 12 a.m. Um, okay, uh, Lisa. Okay, mama, I love you. Um, Y'all, listen, if we don't never see 500 tonight, the Thai Squad is the Mighty Mighty Thai Squad for a reason, right? For a reason. Um, And we're gonna keep on trucking on We'll be live tomorrow um, in that church community. People mm -hmm, help each other purchase cars. Yeah. Uh-huh. I believe uh, where we're at. We're $54 short. Okay. Listen, if we don't make the $500 goal tonight, honey, listen, we made that goal 10, 15 times over. Okay. Uh, and, and triple that. Uh, I believe he wanted, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That what you believe, Brenda? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. It's almost there. It's coming in. We're almost there. 
Uh -huh. It's almost there, y'all. Uh huh. <laughs> we forty. Well, we have forty four dollars. We need forty four dollars. Uh huh. And we can close this out right. Uh huh. Oh, there it goes. There it goes again. Uh huh. Keep it coming. We're almost there. I believe God. Oh, do we need some offering music? Let me see. I'm going to see if I can get some offering music. Oh, I got to get to the computer. Oh, my God. Okay, I got to get to the thing. Uh, we need some offering music. I think Mother Brown holding a good 200. Mm-hmm. I believe we can do it. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Phillips Barbecue, this is uh, uh, Aquanetta. Uh, we're out of chicken links. We're out of chicken links. We're out of green beans. We out of chicken links. We out of green beans. We out of succotash. We don't have no succotash. Uh, we do have pork ribs, beef ribs, sliced beef, pulled pork. Uh, we got chicken legs. Uh, uh, what is? <laughs> uh, we got chicken legs, chicken wings, chicken breasts. We got peach cobbler, strawberry shortcake, uh, banana pudding, pecan pies. Oh, there it is. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Uh, fuck your order. Okay, we're done. <laughs> We are done, Ty Squad. Thank y'all so much for showing some financial love tonight. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. We did it. It was that pink phone. I already know what it was. Oh, my God. It was that pink phone. Um, Listen, I love y'all. I really do. If you are new to the Ty Squad, you will see all we do here is just have fun. We have fun on top of fun. But we don't, we're not, you know, we don't scare away from um, hard subjects. This is lightweight, honey. Like, we've had some stories bigger than this, believe it or not. I know what you said. What's bigger than this? It's been some stories, you know. P. Diddy and Cassie, that was huge. You know, Loretta getting socked in the mouth, that was big for us. The woman that said that she saw a little kid walking along the freeway. That's why we'd have been here before. You know what I'm saying? We'd have been here before. Mm -hmm. So we thank y'all. And we're not just only funny, you know, because I don't want people to think we're a one-shot pony, right? We're not only funny, but we have a lot of information. We have great shows, great content. Make sure you tell your friends, share the content, y'all. It's, you know, it's a really good time. We keep it real. Patreon, we really go in there and talk the way we want to talk, right? Great conversations. Hard conversations, no matter what they are. You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all so much. Ooh, excuse me. From the, from the bottom of my heart, I thank y'all. T.D. Jakes has a lot. Uh, T.D. Jakes has a lot to think about. He's got a lot to contend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible. He has a lot to think about. What do he want to do? What's the strategy? Striking everybody's channel, I told them that was going to backfire. All you're doing is making these people mad, the bloggers. All you're doing is making the bloggers mad. Striking these people's channels is not the solution. It's not. Because once they get the strike cleared up, they're going to let your ass out. You know, because a lot of this stuff do fall up on the fair use. You know, so TDJ's got a lot to think about, Ty Squad. Just, just think about what you want to do, bro, bro, you know? What you want to do? Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to invite Tim to Patreon for an interview. He has a few stories to tell. I mean, Tim feels how he feels based on his life experiences, right? Mm-hmm. But I know better. I know that a man, because he's feminine or flamboyant, you know, not, yeah, I, I I know better than that. Like, because he looks a certain way, then he's a target for that type of energy. No. You know, we can talk about the car, y'all. We can talk about the Rolls Royce. We can talk about that. I don't mind talking about that, but the, damn, the thing of the matter is that everybody buys their pastors cars. Um, well, Mother, are you saying a mentee? Mother, are you saying a mentee is buying cars like that? Well, uh, listen, if, if he got the money, that's why. Mother, that car costs almost $200,000. Yeah, it do. 
Well, but you know, <laughs> he got it. He got it. He got it. He felt that way. He felt a certain way about Bishop, and he bought it. Be in. You know, I ain't gonna read too much into it, Ty Squad. You know. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I'm just saying, Ty Squad. Thank you to the uh, 1,200 plus people that came by here tonight. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all to everybody that gave the cash. That was still going on. Still going on. Um, where, where do we go here? What you looking for next? What mother looking for? I'm looking for these two people. I'm looking for, you know, they said one of them is like 10 years younger and, and than Bishop Jakes and the other one. We don't know much about him. That's who I'm looking for, y'all. I, 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 and if this all goes away, we just know envelopes was given out. Who you looking for, mother? I'm looking for these two people. That's who I'm looking for. And that order, Ty Squad, in that order. That's who I'm looking for. The two uh, alleged victims, uh, accusers, you know, whatever you want to call them. Maybe he bought the car for TD to leave him. Uh, you never know, baby. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to decipher. Uh, mm-hmm. Great job, Moz, honey. And, and then I gave y'all that extra power tonight. I think his PR team held a private meeting and set aside and gave him this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's do our job speech. His own mouth couldn't be his downfall. That all, all that he did that Sunday, Christmas, I think that was Christmas, that was horrible. That whole sermon, honey, from start to finish, they need to take that video down. I'm just keeping it a buck, honey. Take that whole video down. That video was horrible. But you got my freaks, and if I did do it, oh my God. It's like they need to get that hook from Apollo, from um from amateur night. Get that hook and bring him in. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, Ty Squad. I don't know. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's gonna be some tea right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh huh. Uh, <laughs> some of these people just take a child. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, uh, uh, uh huh. I think they took the live down shortly after. They do that every Sunday to edit it and then they put it back up. Yeah, every Sunday they do that. Ray's still working overtime, honey. And you know, Ray likes that kind of stuff. Ray, <laughs> that's like a fetish for Ray, you know. Just do, <laughs> hit that damn block and delete button. You know, it's quite a few. Uh, it's quite a few time squad members that get off on that shit. Uh, Heave hoeing your ass up out of here. <laughs> it's a lot of time squad members. They look for that. They get. Oh, mother said we can delete and block tonight. Child, hey ya, hey ya. <laughs> okay, time squad. It's time for me to get down the road. It's time for me to get. Thank you, Brian, for your two dollars. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, my nephew sent me a. Oh uh, wait, nephew, you are wrong for this. Uh, I hear a package. Am I expecting a package? I hear somebody out there. I hear uh, what the people call. I hear Amazon outside. I'm not expecting a package until tomorrow. Thank you, Brian. Brian, okay, you are cracking me up with yeah. Uh, the top spot to heave hold your ass up out of here. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, they was only tonight in a real way. And see, some people they don't know how to come in and just flow with the conversation. They want to give a whole dissertation. This is what I feel about the Potter's house, and exactly this and this, and then this and this. Girl, that's too much. We're not trying to tell you what to say, but damn. This is what I think about him, and he did this, and then he did that, and I believe he did this. Girl, take that shit to your channel. Mm -hmm. Take all that uh, 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 alleged and all that shit you don't know about to your damn channel. Mm. Uh, thank you, Lily. Lily, Lily, Lily is me. Okay. Uh, read the damn room. And some of these people are just trolls. Uh, uh, um, by proxy, they comment, but they're trolls. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck about TD Jake's armor, NASA. They just want to come in and 
and, and, and cut the hell up. You know? You know what? <laughs> no, you did not, Wendell. Wendell, I know you did not. Thank you, brother. Oh, my God. Wendell, you are a mess. You know y'all can't be doing this to me. Thank you, Wendell. I <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get the hate mail from that man, y'all. He always sent me hate mail. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. I'm supposed to be in Puerto Vallarta with you. I'm supposed to be down there in Puerto Vallarta, but I do not have a passport, y'all. I don't. Unfortunately, I gotta work on my passport. I'm supposed to be with my friends in Mexico, but I was supposed to be there for um, the holidays, but I don't have a passport. I just never got a passport. I'm going to get one, Time Squad. I'm going to get one. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you, brother. Love you. Thank y'all. Shout out my brother Wendell from Raising Whitley. We love him to death. Um, okay. <laughs> I can't doubt with y'all. God did it again. Uh, let me take back to my altar with my candles, oils, and sage. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, you tipping back to your altars with your candles, or the sage? What you doing? That what you doing? What you trying to do? Uh, uh, um, Joanne, you trying to see something? Mm -hmm. We're in Mexico. I can't give out too much information, baby. I can't give out too much information. I got a lot of people that don't like me. They trying to bump me off, and I can't give out too much information. I'm going to Bora Bora. I'll be in Bora Bora. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nephew. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You are a mess with these little charts. Thank y'all. Over 50 people gave tonight, y'all. Y'all are phenomenal. Y'all are phenomenal. Thank you, Wendell, for just topping off, you know, the night. Uh, some of the commentary was just too extra tonight. Felt like uh, Duck Hunter shooting comments just, yeah, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honey, I'm going to, I'm going to Sri Lanka, honey. I'm not, mm, -mm. I can't have these girls bumping me off. They can't stand me already. They say, you know, they over there putting a pillow over my face. We finally got her. We found her in Mexico. Get her. <laughs> we got her in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We're not doing no damn $10,000, nephew. Nephew to my ten, uh, the new goal is $10,000. We're not trying to, uh, uh, the next thing they're going to do is accuse us of being a Juanita Bynum. Nephew that made a damn thing to my uh, next goal, $10,000. <laughs> oh, the damn. Wait. Uh, new goal, $10,000. Mm -mm. Then they're going to say, oh, yeah, that's the old Juanita Bynum spirit. I told y'all. We told y'all he had old Juanita Bynum spirit in him. Um, all I could say was, hold on, mother. I thought you was going to go in. There was a lot of times I really wanted to really go to bat, but I was like, honey, I can't die, honey. These people, um, thank you, Oasis of Restoration. Um, thank you, Oasis of Restoration. I appreciate you, baby. Thank you so much. Um, Ty, you can get you a LV duffel. Yeah, I just got a, 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 a good duffel for my gift. Um, What do you call it for my wish list? I got a beautiful duffel. I haven't even used it yet. Uh-huh. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, one thing I do have is beautiful luggage. I like a nice luggage. I, I like a nice luggage set. I've always been like that. I like a nice um, bag, honey. Or the love of good tote. Do? Okay, wait a minute. Hold on one second, Ty Squad. Um, is somebody in here that need to give $9,000 in a... Listen, y'all, I'm going to <laughs> get out of here. Oh, okay, Gary Brim. Thank you, brother. Oasis of Restoration. Thank you. Juanita does have nice luggage. Yeah, she do. You know, Juanita put a, 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 pull out her Louis in a minute. Wait a minute. Hell no. Uh, 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 I already, I already, baby, I already did. Uh, 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 Ray. I already did. Mm-hmm. Y'all are a mess. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Here's something more modest. 
nephew done set the goal for two thousand dollars. Nephew, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna, uh, uh, I ain't gonna be on here all night with no damn Jerry Lewis telethon. Uh, evening of stars. Uh, but thank you for the graphics, though. We will use them at a later date. Um, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me cue the music. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to bed. I, I enjoyed this conversation tonight. It was one for the record books. I love y'all so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow at our appointed times, right? At our appointed times. Have a good night on purpose. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. And I will see y'all tomorrow. What do we have? We have this. Wrong song. Okay. Uh, what is the song? Let me see. Okay. What is the song, and honey? What is something? Add something quick. You don't need nothing complicated. Let me see. There may be a night music. You never know. Keep your notifications on. There may be a night music after dark. Diane, I want you. We gotta get out of here, Time Squad. I got to go. I got to go. Somehow, somehow, love.